Hello everyone, welcome back to Rob's Gaming Table. Today on the table we got Rob, Mel, Mel and... Kyle. I should have said Mel, I shouldn't have said Mel. <laughs> That's okay. That's okay. I don't know what I'm doing. I we're new at this. Doing. Yes, we were new. <laughs> Brand new. This is our first time playing Mace of Madness 2nd Edition. We did not play the same scenario last week and die a horrible death and or go insane. Matt's here to see us die or go insane. Yes, there is a good chance that will happen. Uh, but this is our second attempt at Altered Fates, which is one of the DLC, uh, I guess, DLC scenarios that you download in the app for the core set is what you need. Uh, we're playing with the same pool of stuff uh, from the uh, first edition, whatever those packs were called, the figure and tile packs and the, and the base set. And that's all we're pulling from still. Uh, so we're okay with your guys' help for who've watched, who don't know spoilers really for this one, but if you watched last week and you know things like Matt, who we know is in the chat, we see him, <laughs> uh, has a super like rock solid memory. Uh, and we'll remember everything that happened, and some of you guys remember too. So feel free to nudge us if we're like being dumb and forgetting something from last week. Uh, but yeah, we'll uh, we'll try to conquer this one here. But uh, it's Mage of Madness, so nine out of ten times we don't win. But we'll see. <laughs> uh, hello, hello, everyone joining live. Uh, let's see here. Patrick's back. Everyone's here. Rory's here. Hello, Rory. You got Meeple Monkey. Hello. And Tarek, hello, Jim's here, and uh, Stormtrooper, Kyle the Cheater. <laughs> <laughs> no, he is, it's a loss now, it's, yeah, a loss. Yeah, it's a loss. It is recorded on YouTube that he thought he won, I thought he won, we all were yeah, on the same page. Yeah, I thought he won. Everyone in the chat thought he won, no one, no one complained, but comments are caught it after, and it made yeah. total sense when I thought about it for a minute, I was like, oh yeah, wait. Rooms are different than uh, the the tiles or whatever. Or spaces. spaces versus rooms are different. Usually something wrong when I win. It's just, <laughs> I should have caught that. I was like, wait a minute, I won now. This can't be right. <laughs> yeah. This can't be right. Oh, you had your monthly lobotomy this morning. Oh, no. <laughs> now it's all good. Uh, Derek says, I just played the game by myself, Rob. I have a question to ask. All right, ask away. Ask away. All right. I think you also missed saying hi to Shane and Buell up oh, at the top there. Oh, sorry. Yes, yes. I don't scroll. think he... <laughs> Shane, Buell. Yeah, I saw you guys here. Uh, yes. Yeah, yeah. I'd see at the top. Okay. Yeah. My bad. I think I got everybody. Yep. I think so. I try to avoid saying specific names at the beginning, especially if like it's already scrolled off the screen, because then it's like, I feel bad. Those who are here first and talking, and it's like, oh. Oh, before we went live. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's like, oopsie. I shouldn't say names. And hi, Travis. I see Travis in there, too. All right. Uh... <laughs> There's a thunderstorm in Edmonton right now. Oh, wow. <laughs> <laughs> At the same time the music was playing. Buell's no one special. Doesn't yeah, need Buell. a special hello. <laughs> oh, Buell, you're special already. You're special. <laughs> Andrew's here. Hi, and good luck. Hi, Andrew. Awesome. And... Is Stefan? I I've worked with Stefans. I've worked with Stevens. I I want to know how to say it. Uh, is it Stephen or Stefan? I, I don't know, and I, I don't want to keep pronouncing it wrong. If if you if you could let me know in the chat. So one for Stephen, two yeah, for well, Stefan. You could that's spell it out like way. I would call it phonetically. Phonetically, phonetically, phonetically yeah. <laughs> I was gonna say some other p word. I don't know. <laughs> Prophetically, <laughs> what the heck? Uh, so Derek's question: If you're playing solo, how many investigators do you play with? Uh, I've never played solo, but from everything I've read about this game, when Mel and I were just playing two-player a lot, and we only played two characters, we were getting our asses handed to us like worse than normal. We felt <laughs> that when we played it with Kyle or Justin back in the day, not on stream, we played three-player, and we thought it was not as hard. Uh, and of course we Google it and you'll find thread after thread and post after post on Reddit and board game geek people saying like, is this game not balanced well at two characters? And it's not, I don't think it is. Mm -mm. So people are saying if you're playing even two player run two characters each or run one that you share or so that's why like we save it to play with you is like, it's better at three players. Yeah. I, we could each run a character each and we've done that before. I think we did that once with the same scenario. Yeah, we did. We played in the same day or the next day. We played one day with the two characters, then we played the next day with four. Way different. You just have more actions to run around the board and do things. Uh, even though it knows you have four characters, I just feel like it's, it, there's a balance there. Uh, but I do see a, a lot of people who play this game solo play three characters. Like, uh, three-handed or whatever. Uh, yeah. That's like a normal thing. Yeah. But I hate the way this says for one to five players. Like, I hate that FFG does this, and with Lord of the Rings, Journeys of Middle-Earth, they say it's solo, but it's like, you have to pay, play minimum two characters. 
That to me is not true solo. It's like especially in Lord of the Rings, you got to balance two decks. You got to remember like oh, what yeah, have yeah, I yeah. seen? It's what I, than... what haven't I seen yet? What could be coming? Yeah. Uh, it's annoying. Yeah. But uh, yeah, that's just my answer there. It's Steven. Okay, Steven, Steven. Westrip. All right. All right. I Hi, thought, Steven. Yes, I thought so, but I was like, I didn't want to. Yeah. Stefan, Stevens. Yeah, I just don't want to be saying it wrong all the time. All right, cool. Mark is here. Hi, Mark. Hello. Andrew uh, does two characters. Shane plays with three. Derek, Derek plays, plays with four. With four wow. So it's all over. I guess you could just kind of experiment with it. I would probably need a token, though, if I was playing three characters solo to remember who's, remember gone, who's gone and in not the turn. gone, because yeah. I would be lost, for sure. All right, let's get on the table. Uh, okay, so we're trying to figure out characters, uh, and I just picked uh, Min again. I'm going to use the token to try to remind me if I re-rolled or not, but I'll still probably forget to flip that. <laughs> uh, but we were trying to figure out, after last week's scenario, there were puzzles. Yeah. There were, of course, there's spoilers here, by the way. We're going to go into spoiler stuff. Um... But uh, we were playing, it split us into two of us. We're forced to go to some other alternate 1940s. Mm -hmm. yep. Everyone else stayed in like 1920 20 something. something. Yeah. And then there was talk even about like back four generations ago, things were going on. Yeah. Uh, but we got to get split up. So someone stayed in the main current time and, and, and two of us, Kyle and I, went to the future uh, in the 1940s. And there was some kind of passing something through a floorboard, and we were passing the shotgun, which was probably a mistake. That was definitely a mistake. Uh, and definitely. There was a key that was found <laughs> that was passed through that was used to open something. There was some, a hidden passage that was there. Uh, a big giant boss monster came out at the end and chased Mel down a hall and basically killed her. Yep. Uh, we got a. We ran out of actions. There was some kind of idol that needed to be passed through the portal. So I don't know how the game's going to change up this time. I'm assuming the two mansions, uh, the mirror image of the mansions, will probably, the layout will change. So we can't rely on that exactly, but... So Steven says, I play two or three-handed much easier with this game than Lord of the Rings. Three-handed L2R is a bit of a slog. Yeah, yeah that's I can what see I that for yeah, sure. That's what I figure. Yeah, I can see that. Okay, so we're trying to figure out which characters to pick. Now, there were a bunch of puzzles last time. Yeah. So Kyle was talking about taking... Amanda Sharp, who you may perform two additional puzzle steps while attempting a puzzle. That I seems think that's helpful. helpful. Yeah. Her stats are okay along the side, threes and fours, but she's got the seven and seven, which I like a lot. Yep. But, so, but you were also debating between this guy, right? Oh. Uh, yeah, I kind of. Just Michael McLenn. Oh, he's got a Tommy gun. His strength yeah. is five. Agility of only three, though. Um, I just figured if we're going together, one of us has better strength. I don't know. True. Whenever, yes. whenever a monster is defeated, become focused. So that's the card you could throw away to turn all clues into successes on a single test, I think. Yeah, so Kyle's bet debating between those two. If you guys have any yeah. um, but, I mean, it's also idea for him. For yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. But I'm yeah. thinking that... I'm thinking I might go with one of these two, which I can show once... So are we going to split the same way if, if we're being forced to do that, where two have to go to the future? We can. Are you going to stay back? Are you picking a character that, based on the situation you yes. dealt with last time? Like two yes, had to 100%. Go in the you can't yeah, yeah, two had yeah, to, yeah. but we could just... Yeah. yeah, yeah. Our player count, I think so. Yeah. Um, so then... It's good for this run? I, I think for Amanda. I oh, think Amanda was good about, for yeah, this run, I think, says Jim? I think so, too. Okay. Especially because the puzzles were in the alternate side. More I actions remember, needed, yes. Yeah. I agree. I remember I had one, but maybe I had more, but I don't think so. I think um, you were just running around the house investigating stuff, yeah. finding things for us. There was that whole bookcase at the end yeah, of the has, thing to yeah. find the hidden office yeah. or whatever. That's exactly You just right. need to explore as much as possible, like run around and, and, and find things. Yeah, like, so then this is why I'm thinking these two people. So I'm thinking about Joe Diamond. Um, if you spend clues to convert... Um, what is that? Spend a clue token, to, uh, convert a uh, clue, clue to, a, to success. a success. Yeah, you may convert two instead of one. Okay. Which is great. His stats are very good. His his um, stats here are pretty good. But then this is my other option. If I'm running around a house by myself, having one additional move That's true. could be helpful. Because remember they gave us monsters in the other house to tie us up while you were supposed to be running ahead and, and, and uncovering things. Right. Getting ready for us. Because me and Kyle spread out very fast after that and, and we covered our mansion really quick. Yeah. And if you look at the stats, uh, like just these stats, they're very similar. 
I like Other the, read, the reading young, the strength and the agility is huge yeah. for fighting. And influence, I don't think I really need influence if I'm not talking to anybody, yep. I'm not trying to make anybody if do if anything. If you're not doing horror checks a lot, then the sanity is not a bad thing either. Yeah. I, I like the reading young for your side. Yeah. The yeah. Move, yep. move. Yeah. Extra move, yep. Okay. She's just a little weak when you have to do sanity checks all the time if like a monster's alive, but she's got the agility and the strength that if you have the right weapon, you should be able to be rolling more successes because you're rolling four or five dice. Yeah, so if I can get that shotgun and not pass it to the alternate universe this time. That's true too, yeah. I potentially... If it is a shotgun. Right, we don't even know if we'll get oh, yeah, that option. Oh yeah, true, yeah. Who knows yeah. what it'll, Who knows be, what but, it'll do. Um, are you going with Amanda? Uh, I guess. Should I take someone with a little more strength then? If we're fighting monsters, uh, and, and I don't need to move oh, around that much. Or I could take the... this guy, you know? Oh, true, yeah, if you did. Mark Edwards, thank you so much for the support. Thank you. That's awesome. <laughs> thank you. Where did that even come from? <laughs> what are you talking about? Oh, is that your first time that you've had that happen? No, I've heard it, but it just sounded like it was like... It's, oh, uh, okay. This is a speaker down, down here there. by my feet. Because we get we get into the game that we sometimes don't even <laughs> notice it pop I put, up. I put the speaker basically on the floor so it doesn't like get picked up in the mics too much. <laughs> so when I do want to hear alerts and things. Um, but it's still, you still can hear in the background of the yes. video, but... I didn't want it blaring when everyone's watching either. Most people in like their streams will have those alerts like make that noise to, mm. to the viewers, but then it cuts off if we're like talking or explaining something. It, it would get annoying if it kept doing it. So I keep it like silent in the. But in that the picks it up, I think. Yeah, a little bit. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Well, I, I think see. I'm gonna go for Rita for sure. Should I be the strength guy? Ah, oh, man. I know it's tough. I just like oh, to sorry. balance out, you know. The two characters together. I, I understand. I can pick someone different though, Kyle. I could be that Michael McLean. But seven, you both will have seven and seven. That. No, but I, I don't like this with the monsters though. That's the problem. Yeah, I think. Oh, no. I think. But then again, if you have higher strength and or agility, you could kill monsters quicker and have less horror checks. Need the extra move to run from the bad guy. I agree exactly. It's madness. Hi, Sakabra. Hey, it Sakabra's here. <laughs> it is madness. Uh, I don't right. know why we do this to ourselves I know. every week. I hate this game. <laughs> I hate it. Stop making me play it. No, I'm just kidding. I love it, but yeah, it's fun. All right, I'm gonna be this guy. You're gonna be that guy. You're changing. Sure. Kay. What's the guy you usually play, Kyle? Can I see his stats? His, um, I, I might. I might just play guy. him. If if we're gonna go, Rourke? if we're gonna go, uh, he's a four and a three. Uh, maybe that's not better. No, I thought he just was so much higher in strength, but yeah, William. Yeah. Yeah. He's, see? Not, he's oh. not though. He's just a four. Yeah, yeah. But it's still good. That's like on the higher side though. But Joe is a four too. Yeah, but he's lower on the... Oh, Monterey Jack. Other investigators in your space do not need to evade monsters. That would have been helpful if in the last scenario. No, no, but if it was... Uh, if, you, if it affected him, but it only affects other investigators. Yeah, but remember the other time where you and Kyle oh, were trapped in, that, in yes. that one room for like three rounds? Yeah, I looked at that guy too. And actually, yes, yeah, seeing it is... is but I will never go near Kyle. I never want to get trapped like that again. I'm just <laughs> yeah, going to let yeah, him yeah, die yeah, in the corner. And I'm not going there. Take the puzzle guy. Did someone take the puzzle guy? No. No, no. I'll take the puzzle guy. Here, give me, give yeah. me Amanda puzzle Sharp. Girl. Puzzle guy. Puzzle girl. Puzzle girl. Amanda Sharp. Yeah. Okay, I'll take puzzle girl. Although I hate that agility rating of three only. Agility is the stat I love to have more of. Five, three, and everyone knows I need rerolls on dice when I can, but it still doesn't <laughs> save me, so... So, it's just a wasted ability. Yeah. Sure. Let's go, Amanda Sharp. Where did I put that? Oh, I uh, gave that pile to you. I think Monterey Jack is actually oh, better than Michael, right? They all are balanced. Like, if they have a man ability, they have great stats. If they have yeah. great stats, they have a crap they, ability. They like, mm, yeah, I'm going to do Monterey. Okay. Okay. Okay, so these ones, we're not playing with these ones. So what's Amanda Sharp look like? She looks like she's holding a book and glasses, I think. No, no, that's that's Min. That's what I was just playing. No, no. Oh. It's because got a piece oh, of wood. No, it's because, okay. This is junk. <laughs> this is junk. Like, who is the miniature designer over at Fantasy Flight Games who made these two characters? They're completely different characters, but, like. <laughs> they just took the same pose like, and put come different on. outfit on them. It's horrible. It's horrible. <laughs> Somebody needs to do some painting, though. I know. We were talking about that. Somebody needs yeah, to do some painting. We were talking about that today. Okay. I didn't even think uh, about it. My guys got I today. think I've been using the miniature guys... for Amanda when I keep playing Minnie. There's anyway. only two guys well, that have a hat. Do you want? This, the, this guy has that... a hat. No, it's the uh, photographer. Uh, it's, uh, that guy, I think. No, this is the Tommy Gun guy. Oh, no. That guy has a hat. Oh, this guy's got a guitar. Oh, I got a piece oh, of wood. Oh, and that guy's got the dog, so it's not him. piece of wood. This guy's wearing a cape. It's not him. No capes. It's like Clue. Or, um, guess who? It's this guy. 
Is your guy wearing a Yeah, he's holding cape? something yeah. under his arm. Look at him. Look at, look at the picture. <laughs> oh, yeah. It's a, there's my Whatever he's holding under his arm. All right. Wood. So these are good. That's what you said, right? Yeah, I guess. Yeah, I okay. Okay. So wood, that's good. Oh, he's an archaeologist, so maybe it's supposed to be like a map. Ah. All right. I think we're ready to begin, so you don't need this no. one. No. Oh, I need to get out some dice. We're not ready, but we're going to do it. There you go. Take the dog, get good items, yeah. I yeah, know, right? Dog that dog be would have been too. helpful too. Yeah, the dog may be good, but it's cut. Oh, we it kept making us drop stuff over and over again. Oh, yes. The it's dog yes. would be good for that. If it does that again, I may never play this game again because that was annoying. No, I'm just joking. No, that just means you took the wrong character. You'll be mad you didn't take uh, the dog. Okay, so we are playing, yeah, with the same packs. Back, main menu, new game. Okay, let's find Altered Fates. There it is. You don't have to move, it's okay. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, we don't it's care. It's only a three? What? Yeah, I know. Yeah, I know. And it's short. Oh, it, it's one of the shorter ones, like 90 minutes to something. Oh. And and it, it was like killing us. Uh, Reedy Young is myself. And who are you again? Captain... Uh, I'm Monterey Jack. Monterey Jack. <laughs> Monterey Jack. Monterey Jack Cheese. Really young at the end there. Yeah. Not sure if Stormtrooper uh, Storm is yelling at you. Rob! Oh, <laughs> yes. Trying to get your attention. Yes. I'm not sure. Yes. Somebody. Yes. <laughs> That's my name. All right. We got different things here. Okay. Mm -hmm. So. Now, in the chat, if you want to get my attention uh, on YouTube, you got to do the mention thing where you do like at and then do Rob's gaming <laughs> table and it shows up as like a big orange highlighted box on my screen. That's a tip. That's all. Usually I'll glance up and if I see any of the orange throughout there, then I, oh, I know yeah, to like. Definitely. That's that's good. I should say that at the start of videos, like if you guys notice any huge rules issues or like I'm totally doing something completely wrong in any game, just like throw it in there at Rob's games. You start typing in it, it should fill it in for you. Why do they give us the fire extinguisher? We had that last time. There was no well, fire. you know what? We didn't finish the scenario, yeah. so we have no like, idea. I feel like there was like two a hours bit into later. it. There's like a little flame. That we, <laughs> this is why I have it. <laughs> the house gets on fire, and we got to get out. Can never be wrong carrying a bloody lead pipe around with you. <laughs> I know, right? That is true. That is true. <laughs> I would take that over the fire extinguisher. Actually, I. I oh, okay. It's a weapon, though, right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Force power. The chat is strong enough. That's true. Oh, it didn't do it when he. Yeah, it didn't do it for Matt. It doesn't. It didn't like that, Matt. But it's doing it. Like it's going. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I don't know. Maybe not. I don't know. No, you can do it. Yeah, it's doing it before. Maybe it didn't auto populate. Oh yeah. Oh yeah yeah yeah. There it is. Jim oh, got it. Oh there you go. Jim, Jim got, got it. it. Test test. Yep. So I don't know. I don't how... know what the difference was. Oh, can maybe... you see it like that on yours too? Uh, no, right? Because no, it's I can not only see it if you. they mention me on mine. Yeah. So for me, it's like highlighted in, in a big orange rectangle. Like it's like you oh, can't miss it. Only Jim's got it. Yeah, only Jim knows That's how to so do it. That's so funny. Yeah, it's, maybe it doesn't it's work on mobile. Populate because there's no. Uh... But you should. I when you do at and then you start typing like yeah, it ro, should. it should auto populate. But maybe not in the app. Oh, maybe. Yeah, or like maybe on PlayStation on... or Xbox or whatever. Maybe not. Oh. Like it depends on the YouTube app probably. No, but this. this but even not, so. It's missing. Well, I know. I know. But even so, even if they typed your name in like that, if you were scrolling through, would you see that? No. The orange? Not the orange. The one's not orange. No. Oh, okay. I wouldn't notice that. Oh, it doesn't oh, work, it doesn't on, work iPad. on iPad. Oh. Uh, so well, <laughs> oh, no. Well, oh, no. Uh, we're not going to go there, Matt. We're oh, not going to go there. Didn't work for Buell either. No. Okay. Oh, just on PC. Jim's on, Jim's PC. on PC. Oh, yeah. And when I do it on PC, it uh, works. PC. I get it. Yeah. <laughs> the wrong no, Apple here we go. <laughs> Patrick's starting it. All right. <laughs> I'm going to walk away. Yeah, we won't say nothing. <laughs> okay, so next, uh, we get our two clues to begin. Thanks, Kyle. Yep, he's on it. All right, sweet. Kyle wants to get going here. <laughs> Let's get into it. Do uh, we want to pick? Oh, yeah. How are we divvying this stuff up? Oh, Buell's worked. Yeah, Buell time. got yeah. it. He misspelled the, the first time. Yeah, so that, the... that shows up. What Buell did shows up in big orange uh, yeah. and, and like it pops. And some people do it in some streams, I noticed, but then I forget to say, like, oh, do that if you guys want to. But if it doesn't work on every device, maybe I shouldn't bring it up. But anyways, all right. Um, this. Uh, roll one additional die while evading a monster. Needs to go to one of you guys. 
<laughs> Rob's like, go see you. <laughs> right? Well, that you final have, run. The final boss. Yeah, the final, final. I don't know we if he's a, a boss. We had a at the beginning. But. <laughs> <laughs> <I'm mad. laughs> now, if you get a package with a dead rat, it wasn't from me. <laughs> no. Oh my gosh, you guys are so funny. Oh my gosh. Well, I was thinking that you guys will be evading more, but yes, you're right. Uh, eventually, I will probably have to evade a monster, but... Four damage firearm? Uh, who's got the least damage? Oh, it's me with seven. I should take this gun. One? But will, will you have a shotgun in the first room? That's the thing. Although I don't think a four damage thing is good against those star spawns. Anyway, you need something bigger. Dynamite or the shotgun? Or what does that one do? Discard. Oh, the fire extinguisher. It's oh, a yeah, heavy yeah. weapon with two. Yeah, that yeah, was good. Heavy it. weapon yeah. was good. It did a lot of damage. Take this is it. a heavy weapon also. Lead pipe. Do you want me to take a pipe in case I don't get yeah, take a the weapon? Pipe. Sure. But you had like two weapons in your in your thing that were like right yeah, in the first one room. I, yeah, but a one blade? I could leave on the wall for you guys to take. Oh yeah, that was right. Because remember, I yeah. took it and you went took it and disappeared. Wall. Yeah. But that, I think, was there to kind of teach you that what the scenario does, right? Like, yeah. But that wasn't anything big. I don't know. It might be something big this round. I don't know. It's Kyle and I who have to do all the fighting. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. So I think... This is exactly what I was going to say. Lion, jaguar, rat. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm fine to take whatever because there is things that I will receive on my side. So... Hopefully. Hopefully. Exactly. Yeah. Even Patrick's name might be a different item, though. That is true. Here, Kyle. I don't want you to get stuck trying to evade a monster again. So I think... I'm going to get stuck. Whatever. <laughs> it's fine. That's what happened last time. <laughs> you were trapped and you couldn't kill, and then we were dropping items and stuff. Were you trying to kill with the fire extinguisher? Yeah. I so we just I, needed I something better? I pretty much had that weapon the whole time. Until, yeah. Well, I mean, I would just like to have something just in case. I mean, if I can put it in Here, the floor... Take, take the range spell also as a ranged option if you're not in the space with a monster. And then you just take this yeah, one day. Yeah, I can heavy pass weapon. it through the floor if... No, um, we, we don't need to play that I game again. If I get something right. better. Oh, no, no, no. <laughs> Let's just... Uh, okay. It'd be awesome if it, like, flips. Like, Rob and I are just in the other side and you're in, like... No, no, I think we choose. <laughs> oh, yeah. Well, we didn't the know. The players who played last time cannot go into the future. Yeah, it might be a different item. That's true. Yeah, yeah. That's true. Catalina and Tedra. <laughs> okay let's read some story yep begin scenario begin scenario you arrive at lady helena's estate and find trouble is already underway a glowing portal in the lavish entryway casts a kaleidoscope of color around the room your host is surrounded by strangely dressed intruders her shotgun mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yep. barely keeping them at bay Without hesitation, you fight your way towards her. Your fists and weapons meet flesh over and over again. But their numbers seem endless. Before you can reach her, a woman who bears a startling resemblance to Lady Helena separates from the fray. The woman dodges past the shotgun, then pushes Lady Helena through, roughly, sorry, into the portal. We've already got others searching the house for the statue. That's the idol. Mm -hmm. A woman calls to her fellow intruders. Let's head back to the base and try something a little more elaborate. The woman and the goons disappear into the portal, leaving you alone in the now silent entrance. Thank you, Carl. Yeah. <laughs> we'll, we'll see. Yeah, we'll see. <laughs> All right. Okay. The ruckus in the entryway of Lady Helena's estate subsides. The abductors disappear. Put, place the lobby tile and walls as indicated. That seems the same. Yeah. We're going to figure out what that code is. Guaranteed that code's going to be up again. Like the shortcut. That code oh, is like a shortcut yeah, for sure. Yeah, we need to figure it, is, it out. But like, how do you... F oh, man. I know. We need to figure it out. You're right. Someone needs to read their journal. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Oh, that was the question. Uh, I forgot. I We saw it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sorry. Um, so, uh, Stormtrooper was saying if you get the Mage Knight... Dice tower to like drop the dice in for for just while we play, just yeah, having a dice tower. Yeah, is that yeah. what you're saying? That's what he's saying, not me. But how's that going to help us win the scenario? Oh, I don't know if they're they're saying it's going to help us oh, win. Um, Rob, if you want to, 
As a sword, you can get the Mage Knight Dice Tower. Because I was not watching play Mage Knight from. Oh YouTube. yeah yeah yeah. Oh okay, I see. Where I just keep forgetting to use it over and over again. I, I have this. I have this. Uh, it's like a castle dice tower that I got for this like Mage Knight insert, and I'm like, here guys, I'm playing it today to test it out. And I put it on the table to the right, but I usually like I think I rolled dice like somewhere else. So then I, I just the whole time kept picking up my dice and just rolling them on the table. And there's like a dice tower like right beside me that I totally like didn't use for like so many rounds. They're all laughing at me. I, I was like, it. I'm an idiot. I got it. Okay. I hope you all die like my iPhone's better. <laughs> <laughs> at least you can laugh at yourself. <laughs> no, he's trolling. He's trolling. <laughs> but he's somewhat serious. Yeah, I know he is. <laughs> Sorry, your iPhone doesn't hold charge like it used to. You need to buy the new iPhone. We'd let you change the battery, but uh, that's not possible. We seal it shut to make it waterproof. Yeah, that's why we do it. Carl says you should use a chip theory dice tray. Maybe the gear locks can help you. <laughs> I don't know about that. <laughs> oh, that's No, that one's not available right now. That has all my dungeon rolls, or my one deck dungeon, sorry, uh, stuff all thrown in it for tomorrow. So I can just like pull it back out on the table. It's like all in the, in the, dice, tail, in the dice tray. Okay. We we won't have room for this guy. He we're with the two maps. We're gonna go. No, no unless it's we're there. fine. We're fine. Yeah. Okay. Yep. So let's continue. You are left breathing heavily and trying to make sense of the last few minutes. Place your investigator figures as indicated. Well, let's turn this way. Oh, we need one of those little explanation tokens. Yep. The portal is already closing. Its edges shrinking rapidly. Through it, you can see a dusty room full of crates, and hear Lady Helena struggling against her captors. Place an interact token as indicated. You rush toward the portal to follow the abductors as it begins to shrink and close. But while two of you pass through, anyone else bounces off collapsing of the collapsing portal ineffectually. Investigators must determine a group which two of them enter the portal. Once you have reached a decision, the investigators who enter the portal remove their investigator figures from the board. So we know it's just going to be me and Kyle, right? Yep. Based on the characters and everything. I wonder if we played four characters, if it would do two and two, Probably. or if it would still be a three and one. Mm. Maybe. It seems like it wants it to be out of balance. Yeah. So I'm curious if yeah. it would do a three and one split. I don't know. Anyone in the chat know uh, how it works? If, if you play this one before? Just moments after the last person has gone through the portal... Uh, after the last person has gone through the portal, it is only the size of a fist and no more physical matter appears to pass through it. You are trapped apart from one another, though you can see and hear everything happening on the other side. Lady Helena's weapon lies on the floor, placed a shotgun common item as indicated. Okay. So pick that bad boy up ASAP. Mm -hmm. A dagger glints where it's mounted on one wall, placed a search token as indicated. A shiny brass plaque reads lounge, placed an explore token as indicated. Okay. Should we look in the lounge this time? Did we not? I feel like we did, we did it at our the very time. End. Yeah, we did it in our time, but Mel didn't do it to the very oh, end, and that's I where she got like, stuck. Because she went around and then had to like go back all the way to the office. So it's a distraction for her, maybe? Unless she does it first. But is, yeah. that's not where, that's where the safe is. That's why maybe yeah, well, she needs to do something in her uh, time in that room. Because we did it after the trap door was open, and then everything in that room was basically gone, I think. Mm. Mm. The door is unmarked. Place and explore tokens indicated. Done. Another shiny brass plaque reads Billiard's Room, placed next to is indicated. So this is all the same so far, I think. Some of the furniture here could be used as a barricade, uh, to use to barricade the door, sorry. Should the need arise, place barricade token is indicated. And while you take in Lady Helena's home, the investigator or investigators who entered the portal barrel through a kaleidoscope of color until finally the end is in sight. An end is in sight. All right, so we need a uh, warehouse tile. So you're released from the strange portal. You find yourself in a dusty room full of crates. Place a warehouse tile and door is indicated. Okay. So let's do the split tile like this. And door. Uh, warehouse is going let's like this. Two and two. Oh, it does do two and two. Okay, I was curious about that. Game is so bossy. <laughs> <laughs> same so far. Yeah, same so far. Yeah. Okay. Which is good. Well, Maybe. I mean, you need these two tiles. That's going to happen. It's really just like what's going to expand. Or what's going to be where. I just think it's the objects might be slightly different spots. Yeah, but yeah I think so too. And maybe they might or be slightly different, different objects. But Oh yeah, like the puzzles that. too. Yeah. I don't so think you got the doors see. indicated. Yep. Oops. 
The room looks eerily similar to the one you left behind. It has the same expensive wallpaper and crown molding, but they are damaged and yellowish, yellowed with age. Uh, just where have you ended up? The investigators who entered the portal placed their investigator figures as indicated. And the newspapers have been plastered over the windows, but perhaps you can see where you are. Place the site tokens indicated. So this is the way, like, it's free to do that, but we know the newspaper tells you it's like 1940-something. Behind you, the portal shrinks to a small glowing tear the size of a fist. Through it, you can see the lobby you left behind and hear the voices of any that remain there. With sound carrying through the portal, you'll be able to communicate freely despite your separation. Place an interact token as indicated. Help! Someone help! Lady Helena struggles against her captor. The woman who kidnapped Lady Helena takes her through the door to your left as you get your bearings. Now, now, uh, no one would dare hurt you, the strange woman says. I just need to borrow you for a little while. The door has a dusty tarnished plaque on it that reads, Lounge. Place an explore token as indicated. The door is unmarked. Place an explore token as indicated. And let me guess, billiards room, which is not the billiards room. Oh, it is. A grimy dust-covered plaque reads billiards room. I don't know who you are, but you are going to be sorry for interrupting our boss, Lady Elizabeth. Spawn a child of the goat as indicated. Uh -huh. Child of the goat. Child of the goat. Yeah, not on my side. Come on. <laughs> I don't want to fight that thing. You were surrounded by Lady Helena's abductors. Oh, no. Oh, you were hold supposed on, to play hold on. something. I, I, I clicked by accident. Spawn a deep one hybrid, as indicated. Deep one hybrid. I don't know what a deep one hybrid is. <laughs> They're all the ones we play with are like right here, but now that, that's a different one, I think. I need another goat. Another child of the goat? Yeah. Okay. Oh, I got a deep one. No, that's just a deep one. There's a difference between a deep one and yeah, a hybrid I, I deep one? Yeah, I don't know. I didn't know that was a thing. One's more. Uh, oh, I found fishing. the hybrid. Yeah, it's just like so weird. Fuel fishing. And, and I think that one's going in this way. In a this child one. of the goat, you said another one? Yeah, but Is we it? don't know where it's going. Well, we know, yeah, we'll know in a second. I think it's going in the room with you guys, actually. Uh, but it's still on the screen, so it's all good. Yeah, yeah, I'll do it in a sec. Yep. Okay. Uh, so let's go back to the table. Did this have? No. Yeah. Oh, this so one. Same spots, yeah. Same spots as okay. last time. <laughs> At least the deep one hybrid gets better mileage. Yeah, Matt and Kyle are on the same page here. I totally missed that. Yeah, you were you were searching. I was the box yeah, I was there, deep yeah. in thought in the box. <laughs> Spencer's here. Hi, Spencer. Hello, Happy hello. Happy Thursday. Matt, go to your corner for that joke. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Spencer's currently on vacation in, in NC, North Carolina. Uh, okay, and only brought eight board games. I feel like ten. Oh no, he's going shopping. <laughs> 10 should have been the number. Oh, you should have brought 10, but you only brought 8. I'm seeing that. So now you have to go to the local board game store there and uh, buy some other games. That's just how that works. If you have room in your luggage or whatever. Uh, Fuel only has two with him. A dust-covered dagger is mounted on the wall. Place the search oh, tokens yeah. indicated. I'm on it. Okay. And some of the furniture here could be used to barricade the door. Should the need arise, place the barricade token as indicated. I hope you return safely to this place. You must be especially trusting of your fellow investigators. Remove all insane conditions that require three or more investigators from the game. Oh, yeah. Okay. It's a lot of enemies you guys got there. That's the same thing happened last time, though. I think they're, they're fours. For the most Was it fours? Part. Yeah. All right, we'll find out. We will find out. Four. Four. Oh, yeah. yeah. The child of goat. Did you put... Um, one of them has to have the little token, you know, like oh, Lord of the Rings. Because we have a duplicate. Yeah, the red one. Yeah, or whatever. Just, yeah, just put a different token. I think on. it was the last one. Yeah. Yeah, it'll be the second one. So that we keep them separate. Yeah, okay. Okay. So... 
Who's um, going first? Might as well just go now. Yeah, I can't really do much, so I could just do an action to pick up the shotgun. And then I could do an action to move. So just kind of discussing where I should potentially open. Last time, I feel like I opened this one first. I don't remember La if that was... Lounge was definitely like dead last. But do you think that might be smart? With I, the safe? I think you should explore the lounge earlier okay. before we activate. It doesn't have to be now. But yeah, but I can be, I can do that because that kind of like the looped around. Does the lounge get you to that hallway where the did, thing was? I think no? it did loop no. around. No? no oh, you, I have you, to go out here, this way. And then that happened and you had to go all the way back to get to the office and then you got trapped. because it was. But you don't need to go to the office right now. No. You need to go to the office when that yeah, yeah, yeah. box gets open kind of thing. Yeah. I also was going to say that... Do you think you said that the newspaper has 1940, I don't know if it's 1940 yep. or 1940 something. Yep. Do you think that could be a code for the safe? Wasn't the safe just three numbers? No. It was three numbers, but they could be two digits each number. Oh, okay. Yeah, then never mind. I did the bill your room first last time. Okay. Oh, yeah, because it was That was the one you like... opened first. Yeah, okay. 1942. Holy moly, you guys are good. Uh, okay, so then I'm just going to move... He has the other stream up right now. <laughs> He's watching like... them both at the same no, time? Okay. No, I'm going to... I'm just going to move here and be prepared to open. We'll go that way this time. I don't know. Do whatever. Okay, that's me. All right, let's kill some fools. Uh, I mean, I have a four damage range weapon. Should I go first and you kind of clean up the mess? Sure. I mean, hopefully I can shoot two things. All right, so I'm going to shoot. Where Where are we trying to go, though? Are we trying to go... I don't think we have to mirror it. No, no, no. I, I agree. Because we know in the one room, if it's going to be the same, was the girl locked in a room that we can't do anything about. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I went I, to I, some chest that was in the corner, right? In that room? Yeah, you wasted a lot. Yeah, I wasted there. a lot of time in there. You needed to get to the bedroom in the last one, remember? You guys wow, needed to get to the you, bedroom? There was a number of steps you had to do before you could even get to the bedroom, I thought. Mm. And remember there was like the, like a I just, like, I think these Oh yeah, lay your figure are... down to know you're done. That's right. We're going to well, do that. Yeah, we'll try. We're going to try to remember this. <laughs> okay. We will try. Yeah, it's, it's these. Uh... Okay, so I'll just shoot forward then to. Sure. Forward yeah. one to here? Yeah. Yeah. Forward to this child, the goat. So attack, attack with a bl uh, firearm, aim for your foe's center of mass, agility plus one, which is only four dice, uh, monster suffers damage equal to your test result only, uh, we Need saw, perfect score then, oh, dive suit, dive suit, <laughs> Yep, I'm just going to leave it. I'm going to leave it. That's rough. I, I just want to do damage of the weapon. I would have spent it to pass on that, but... Uh, Alright, so I'll attack it again uh, with a firearm. You train your eyes on your target and squeeze off a shot. Agility. Here you go. Agility of two. And you, this will do your weapon damage. I'll spend a clue. So, four damage. What was it for? Oh, because it was weapon. the weapons damage. Yeah. But yeah. that's all I wanted was something that just let me just do weapon damage. That's not the test result crap. Yeah. All right, Kyle, what do you want to do? So that was, sorry, that was, sorry, that was this board. one? Just do this because it's free. Someone, someone when a monster dies? Anybody? Yeah, do you someone when no. a monster dies? No, no. no? Okay. nobody? Okay. Um, yeah, just do this just so we actually activate that token. It's not Think it matters? I, I don't know. I mean, it's not an action. No, just uh, do it. Newspapers have been uh, plastered over the windows. Look at the windows. The newspapers are laid so thick it's impossible to see through them, but you cannot help notice that they have been applied recently, and they're all dated with the year 1942. Discard the slate token. It was just bugging you that there was a slate token on the board, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Gotta clear it. Um, all right, I will go here. You can shoot from your space, FYI. They're all within range. It's up to three spaces in the same room. We're fine. Uh, How did you move? I did. I didn't move. Oh, he moved you. Sorry. Yeah. <laughs> so you can move and interrupt to attack, right? Absolutely. Yeah, you can. You can. But I was just confused. But I was... That's only one action to do that, right? Move. Well, move, move is two and then spaces. interrupt to interact uh, is, so or shoot is a second that's action. That's what you were doing. But then I can't get this guy. No, but you go over this guy, girl. What do you have? Oh, you're trying to use a heavy weapon? Yeah, that's probably the best way to do it. Yeah. Yeah, just go, go here and attack this guy. 
but then you're using the spell that's ranged, right? You're okay with that? You have to go in and spot if you want to. Okay. Yeah, so yep. I will go in the spot. Okay. Yep, that so works. That is the hybrid dude. Hopefully it's strength. I Attack, it heavy weapon. Yep. Fire extinguisher. You jab your weapon at your foe's stomach. Strength. You just need a one to pass. If you pass, you strike the figure in the gut with an audible thud. The monster suffers damage equal to the weapon's damage plus your test result. Mm. Heavy weapons, man. Heavy weapons. Wow. Uh, you got one. Uh, so that succeeded. Damage yep. plus. But with, yeah, I need to do one. You need to do one to okay. do four damage total. So you convert yeah. one and he's dead. Yep. Okay. Here you go. Bad. Drop a coin. <laughs> Wrong game. Oh, sorry. Uh, <laughs> and that'd be that. End our turn? Yep. Yep. That was efficient. So kind of. We'll see. Yeah. Uh, a low song just beyond the edge of hearing wafts through the air. The Mythos event affects the investigator who has the most items. Mm, oh, this game. Kyle. Really. <laughs> ah. Oh, items. I don't know if that's different. Hold on. I have two yeah, items. Spell doesn't count. It's tied between both yeah, of you. Okay. Um, hmm. Do you want me to take it? In case you get stuck in there with enemies later? or? Well, if you're offering, then... I'll offer. I have two clues. Okay, okay I'll offer. I'll meet you for loot. <laughs> Gain one XP, yeah. Uh, your palms become clammy and your pulse races. A wave of powerful, a ruinous greed runs through you. Will. Oh, looking sweet. for a test of one. A pass you're, of one. You're better there anyway. Okay, good. You have, I will a four. It's the right it'll call. just make you drop a random item. I got one. Okay, We're you're good. good. No, no item drops yet. Later, it'll be like, oh. you got to pass with seven and drop <laughs> all of your items. And you only roll three dice. That's so <laughs> annoying. A child of the goat moves two spaces towards the nearest investigator. Um, you're tied, so I think you guys get to choose, right? Then it attacks oh. the investigator in the space with the most items. So does that break the tie? We can still choose. Well, it's not going to move because we're in range, right? Uh, moves towards the nearest investigator. Oh, yeah, you're right. It can already hit you right where No, no. Oh, it, it wants says to be it in wants your to space. Move. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh. In the space. I have seven. Or oh, whatever. I'll just take it. The monster attacks. Your foe cracks a whip at you, trying to dislodge one of your possessions, you piece of crap. Oh, already. This is so annoying. All right. Uh, agility, only three. I need a one. If I pass, I suffer one face down damage. Already so it's down. doing this stuff? Yeah, we're taking too long. <laughs> <laughs> I pass, suffer a face down damage. Sorry. If you fail. Did you shuffle these? Yes, I okay. did. Absolutely. Okay. Each investigator must resolve a horror check. Okay, Kyle and I have to resolve this horror check. Your foe snickers and you realize you have stepped within a glyph uh, etched into the ground. It glows red as you study the symbols. Suffer one horror, but lore negates. Yeah, Kyle's good. I'm good. Rob's good. Woo! Nice. Just enough, just enough. All right, things are good. We're already getting the stuff thrown at us because we're killing enemies too quick, maybe. Uh, they're saying, Kyle, as it said, the one with the most items, did it not? But it said, move to the closest investigator. So based on that sentence alone, yeah, we were tied. So we just picked. Then, in that space, it will attack the one with the most items. As so, a tiebreaker. Yeah, so it, I, we just picked me to take it. But yeah. Closest yeah. then most, yeah. yeah. So I would just do it like in you know order, I guess. But I thought the same thing at first. When yeah, I read at first it, you think that, quickly, but yeah. it does sometimes say that. Like, go move three spaces to get to the person with the most items or the most damage or whatever. Okay. Boom. Confirm. Okay. Turn two. Um, Excuse me, round two. I guess I can go first and open this door if that's just my plan. Sure. Well. Is that okay? I mean, you can do whatever. It's your plan. Yeah, it's your plan. <laughs> You pretty much have a blank slate to do whatever. I know. I okay, just go ahead. There, there's going to be one guy that's going to appear behind one of those doors. It's so. behind like this one, I felt like. The door leads to but another room in the estate. Explore. It could just be the first door you open is the one it comes from. So you're looking for the lounge tile with the Cthulhu little thing yep. from the base set. The lounge looks like it was recently redecorated. The faint smell of fresh wallpaper glue lingers. Discard the explore token and place the lounge tile as indicated. Okay, it's going to go so in this direction. slide this to here, because I don't think it went too much east. So we'll put mm. that as far as there as we can. And you bring it over. Okay. Yeah, just 
It's got its base. It's, 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 apparently there's a clue. I'm supposed to forget a... What? Did you, did you use a clue? No. No? Did it say something about a clue? Did you gain a clue? Don't forget the clue, Mel. <laughs> I don't know. If it said something about a clue, I haven't seen it yet. What am I getting a clue for? I don't It looks as though someone, perhaps Lady Helena, left out an enormous book on the table. Please search what is indicated. That's the one with the combination in it. Yeah. A portrait of one of Lady Helena's ancestors hung on the wall. Please search what is indicated. The question. The question. Oh, Item. He's thinking of the dagger. Oh, like don't, here. Like don't forget don't. about this. I see what you're saying. Okay. Uh, yeah, uh, I know. We'll get it on our side. It's fine. <laughs> there are some signs of struggle in this room. A kicked up rug, fresh scuffs on the polished floor, even someone's personal effects lying forgotten in plain sight. Place the Holy Cross common item as indicated. Well, that wasn't, wasn't that cigarettes last time? No, that that wasn't there, I don't think. No, this wasn't there, but cigarettes were there. In our was side. Was that in our time, maybe? It was our side. No, no, in no, our in time was time. the lady in the room. Yeah, in oh, my this time. This was her time. I was trying to get the cigarettes at the end. That's why I was making then... jokes that she took too long, like smoking uh, in the room. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, don't go for that cross, it's a trap. But it does let you roll one additional die while resolving will tests. Yeah. Which are good for horror checks and stuff. You may move one space in the explored area. Uh, yes, please. Okay. Uh, no, no, through the door. Oh, through the door, sorry. Yeah. Can't just uh, <laughs> teleport through walls. Sorry. You're not a uh, ghost uh, yet. Okay. Right. And there is no doors leading out anywhere nope. else. So, that was a portrait. This is a book. So, I think I want the book. So do you still have actions? No, you don't, right? Yeah, I only explored. Okay, so you yeah. want to check the book? Yeah. It looks as though someone, perhaps, later on, left an enormous book. Search? Yeah, please. This book is open to a reproduced manuscript that is a little hard to, to parse. Okay, uh, lore, or, yeah, lore of three. Uh, oh, jeepers. We well, get clues if you're down, right? No. no, I didn't take that one. Oh. Um, I think we got clues as we searched, so I'm going to spend two. It's an important book. Oh, 1601. Do we know that number? No, we didn't. <laughs> you decipher it and find a summation of the trial and execution of a suspected witch. Notably, this witch was a not-too-distant ancestor of Lady Helena's. This ancestor was accused of witchcraft by her noble father-in-law and ultimately executed in 1601. Reading over the testimony that condemned her, you recognize the words of the spell she was accused of casting. It is purely protective. Gain the flesh ward spell, then discard the search token. Okay. Mm. Does that help you in the big star spawn, guys? I don't uh, know. It's got a stuff in your face. <laughs> I don't know. Let's see says action you or another investigator within range discard one damage then flip this card Ooh, i think hmm. that's helpful that's cool i mean i <laughs> well, don't know you what immediately looked at your damage you're like <laughs> <laughs> can she help me <laughs> that's cool Send that put it the in the floor <laughs> put it in the floor <laughs> it was cigarettes last time yes i thought so and i didn't go in this room and really explore explore whatever the the cigarette case did was beneficial. I think it helped me get rid of wounds or damage yeah. or something. And I that's think it was like I a was... lucky roll thing. It was or like a, a lucky, lucky cigarette roll. case or something. Yeah, and I was trying to get it, but All right. okay, that's me done. All right, Kyle, what do you want to do here? Well, you might as well go first, right? Since you're in oh, it can it converts all of the. Um, Would you want me to? I come expl in? I guess it's no, no. Less go clues. move on. Keep keep exploring, search thing, do puzzles. I'll deal with this guy. Um, okay. So I will just attack the guy in my space and hopefully don't get tied up for a year after I keep dropping my gun on the floor. Uh, okay, so I'm going to go first. I'll attack firearm. Uh, the world around you seems slow as you aim down your barrel of your weapon. Agility of three only. Looking for a two. This does, this does oh, uh, damage one. plus test result. Yeah, you so need you're... two. Yeah. Gone. Killed. He's done. Okay. Oh, I'll take this. Drop a coin. <laughs> uh, All right. Funny. Okay. What do you want to do next? 
I will just... I'm not going to go do this room again, I think. I'm going to ignore it. But again, do we need it... 1601 is so tempting. But 1601, didn't you say it's four? It's on the same spot that the safe was. So you'd have to play around with that a few times. But it could, it's the only clue could numbers? be here in this photo. Yeah. But that photo could just give the whole... The clues like I saw in my room. I looked at the photo on my time. Yeah. And it was like... It kind of gave the story of the past. And the... I'll look at the photo. She no, has an extra movement. So I can go in and then... I think you need to explore the hall and, and find the floorboard. Find that... Uh, the lock thing. The Remember? lock box, yeah. Yeah, the, the like dresser or the drawer you were trying to open that she needed to unlock it in your time oh, to find yeah, it. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. The hallway. Yeah. In, the hallway. in the hallway. Yeah, so I think we just push that. I don't know, I so could be wrong. Worry. Maybe that, that maybe that is. But I think in the book. You think the book? Go you find that. Think, go find think, that journal. I think there's numbers the everywhere. Year, go find I that think. journal. The year in the book on the exact same wall that the safe exists is not... But what would you say? It's three digits. We'd have to play with those three digits. 1601. No, four digits. That's what I thought. Three. And he said it's three. Oh. So was the safe three separate numbers and I could go from like yeah, you can go, zero you to 99 or something? Each. Yeah. Yeah. I don't think it's going to be as clear as the code is XXX. <laughs> I think we'll have to the figure it out. I just thought at this <laughs> yeah. time it would find something yeah. cool, like in your journal, it'll say yeah, like yeah, all right, we're, they're we're talking right. about the safe installer guy okay, came so today and he told us to write down this code. Seriously. That would be the coolest thing. Yeah. Because there's no well, safe in this time, but it was installed or something. That's true. It's a dial safe with, with three. a three set combination. Yeah, so yeah, but, okay. It's not gonna be a year, I don't double think. Double digits each. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Anyway, okay. Do they're just throwing random numbers at us to because no, they're just years to, the, for this whole storyline of like they're traveling through time and it's ancestors and the, yeah, the witch yeah, burning yeah. and all that stuff. It's just trying to show the whole timeline and fill the story in. Yeah, Matt thinks it's not as hard as we think. <laughs> yeah, we uh, overthink the game, which is the problem, probably. But there's been stuff that we've been stumped on before. It's my past turn is done. Maps. Yeah. Okay, what are you That's doing? That's true. You got one more action. You can... Okay, done. What okay. are you going to do? I'm going to open this guy. The billiards, the billiards room. room. Let's go. A grimy, dust-covered plaque reads billiards room. All right. Despite the H plaque on the door, the room appears to be someone's unkept study. Papers and books are stacked in teetering piles around the water-stained desk. Discard this explorer token and place the study tile and a door as indicated. Green door. That's me. Yep, that's right. Various papers and photographs are pinned against the wall and connected by a faded length of string. Place a search token as indicated. A yellowed journal lies open to reveal thin yellowing pages and a combination to a safe. It appears... <laughs> I'm just joking. It appears to have once had a red cover, but it's <laughs> faded with time. Place a search token as indicated. Yes, Kyle found the journal... And then got in a death spiral loop <laughs> in a room, and I came to try to help him, and he dropped all his things, then I dropped all my things, yeah, it was a... and it was like a comedy routine, where we're just like <laughs> slipping on our items we dropped, and a monster's like sla slapping us in the face with our own hands, it was like very dumb. Like but, turn after turn was wasted, we ran out of turns in the game because of it. Yeah. Right, but if you get the journal early enough, we can search through it. <laughs> Instead yes. of waiting until we're Kyle, in trouble. Go, yeah, just spend all your actions yeah, and read the journal before the it. monsters come yeah. back. <laughs> Please. <laughs> a wooden door leads to another area in the state. Place the search token as indicated. May, you may move one space in the explored area. Jim says read the journal. I know, right? I want to know what it it'll, says. It'll lead to the clue. Because we'll probably have this to read the it. journal, right? No. no, the next one in. That's the string. You can ignore the it's string, the I one? think. That's the string. The string with like the... Uh, was, in your time, I think it was a shield or oh, something. It's, it's, it's the it's family like the, lineage. The family. Yeah, the yeah. Crest it's a shield. and all that stuff. It's a shield in my time. I thought Rob had the banana peel and kept dropping it. <laughs> whoop, 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 whoop. All right, I will move here. <laughs> okay. That's it. Set it up. Yep. Yep. That's it. Oops. Whoops. No, no. Cancel. I'm just trying to go here. where the journal is. <laughs> <laughs> First move, a sudden time. sharp crack and slam sound out, making Amanda Sharp jump. Amanda Sharp suffers one face on horror. Uh, Will negates. Oh, you're Amanda. Oh, yep. I thought you were no, for no, a second. No. I was like, oh, it's already focused on you. You Getting got too it. Too close to the journal. Yeah. All right. Exactly. It knows. You know too much. <laughs> you know to read it this time. 
The portal flares and shifts rapid, different colors. A moment later, sigils for seeking and finding flow over the floor of the lobby. They fade. No immediate effect. Very nice. Kyle, you want to go to the journal? <laughs> it's true. Okay, go ahead. Let's see. Kyle's going to interact in his space here. A yellow journal lies open on the desk. It appears to have had a red cover that has since faded with age. The journal is immensely old and the page is thin and fragile under your touch. Gain the old journal unique item, then discard the search token. An investigator holding the old journal may read it using the app. Sure. Oh, what do you want to do with your I'm second action? I'm going to use my second action to read this thing. All right, we're going to read the journal for the second action. There you go. You'll have to do tests on it probably and stuff. You yeah, won't even get to like, read yeah, it yeah. that easy. This journal, worn with age, its cover may have been read at some point. As an action, an investigator holding the old journal may read it. Inside the fragile pages, you recognize at least a dozen unique handwritings. It appears that though this book started as someone's occult journal, generations of the person's family have added and modified it, creating a book that is truly packed with dangerous knowledges. The most recent entries all have to do with the spells that bend and twist time to one's will. A note tucked inside the pages tumbles out. Elizabeth, the note begins. This book will be your only inheritance from this house. Take it and these forbidden magics and get out. Gain two clues. That is all. <laughs> but now, see, can you interact with it again? No more to be learned from the journal. <laughs> what? It said it wasn't anything. Oh, man. You got two clues. What? That's I like guess. the best thing you can get in the I game. Guess. There was no code. Those clues will be the thing that wins you the game. Okay, There's so no safe the, combination in it, that. It, yeah, the, the code is red. So R is whatever number... Oh, and like in the alphabet, and E is whatever, and D. Uh, that's what it is. So we have to count like. You think? I don't know. Why did they say red like four times? Like it they, used they... to be red. It could have been red. I think it was red. <laughs> was yeah. it red? It's, it's red. lightly red now. Looks like a shade of red. Could it have been red? Okay, so if somebody can do that calculation for us, or is it just telling us that because <laughs> she'll find a red book in her time, and then you know that's the linked book. But what does that matter if it's just going to... Wait, was it saying it used to have a color? Yeah, I was saying yeah. it used it's to like, be red. Yeah, it could have been red. It's not as like... red now. Yeah, yeah. It's pink. So it's trying to show you the time has passed. That's all it's doing. It keeps emphasizing that because it doesn't know what you will search and look at first. I guess. Yeah, Last yeah, time yeah. we knew and we grabbed the dagger, we knew right away. I said, make it disappear. It'll disappear in our time. All right. It's just another thing that's trying to point us that direction. All right, so you're done? That's right. Oh, yeah. You're sleeping now. Oh, okay. Yeah. What do you... Would you want to go next? So then uh, I still feel like we need to search for... Sure. Because maybe maybe sure. the code go, is in my go. time. I think you already got it. It is in your time. I think so. It has to be in your time. I think so. But I'm going to go and explore here. Mel can write it in to send a message. Send messages. Write in it to send messages? Oh, possibly. Oh, but where do I find my That's journal? what I mean. You're going to find it. Okay. The hallway is dusty. Old broken furniture litters the floor. Place the hall end tile. The hall the end hall tile. End oh, tile. What is oh, this? A door and door a wall, and wall as indicated. Discard all explore tokens leading to it. Door? Oh, that kind of wall. Okay. A locked desk is pushed against the wall. Its legs have been carved in the shape of frolicking satyrs. Oh, here we go. <laughs> what is a satyr? Oh, Just going. <laughs> that are now chipped and worn. The lock on it is rusted and shut from years of disuse. Place search tokens indicated. So we know this not to search that, that until go... Mel has unlocked it or whatever. Yeah, okay. There look to be several loose floorboards in the hall. Perhaps this knowledge will eventually be useful. Place interact token is indicated. So we don't need to interact with that unless we're going to do what we need to do. Doors lead from the hall to surrounding rooms. Place explore tokens as indicated. One and two. Okay. Some of the furniture here could be used to barricade the door should the need arise. Place a barricade token as indicated. You may move one space to the explored area. Do you want to? Yes, please. And now... Uh, I'll explore here. Right? I've only done one thing. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, okay, let's explore. Let's uh, the furniture in this room is a bizarre mix of alien technology and familiar shapes. 
Different variations of Lady Helena's ancestral coat of arms cover the walls. Place the bedroom two tile as indicated and discard all explorer tokens leading to it. Did I have to do something to make the bed a thing for no. you guys? No? Okay. Well, I feel like it couldn't be unlocked until you pass the key through to unlock it. Yeah, the trap door. Well, no, we but something, something is in door. the bed. Remember it said, like, make the bed? Or is, am I thinking of a totally different game? Uh, I don't know. We'll see. <laughs> On the side table, one of the unfamiliar objects closed forebodingly. Place the search was indicated. Remember you grabbed that as, like, your last action? Yeah. You're like, oh, I'm going to need an alien weapon or ray gun <laughs> or something. A tarnished, dusty, silver keyhole peeks out from under a rug. Place the search token as indicated. That's the hidden yeah, trap. You have the so, so, so I have the silver there. key in the lock yeah. box. Yeah. Yes. But I, I don't know if there's a point to reveal this room first before that trap opens, or will that force this room to reveal? It must force it. I would rather do that than waste the time of revealing yeah, that room, yeah. but we can test that out. Oh, the bed's in my time. I have to make the bed in my time. Okay. Okay. Can we move one space and explore here? <laughs> yes, please. Okay. And that's you done, right? Uh, yes. Whoa, you're rolling around. Okay, me. So you don't think we need to look at the picture? And... I don't know, I'm curious. I, I don't know. Did I didn't look at you it last time. You need to get time. in the hall and start unlocking things. You need to go find the end of the, ro the room. You need to, like, help out with things. I don't know. So I, I could, could be wrong. You could do this. It could lead to something. We, we, didn't, we didn't search do it, it last time, I so I feel like I should. Just try different things this time. Yeah. If we don't win, we don't win. We just get more info for next time <laughs> if we do play it again. <laughs> you must beat this. But Kyle, then, if you really want to beat it, like, if you don't want to waste time on things you no, think are I'm useless. I'm curious what it is. Like, okay, okay. I, I don't know. Okay, so I'm going to move for my uh, first... And I know in our time it was, like, a picture that showed, like, the generations. Yeah. And yeah. Showed the but two sisters or the, the mother and the daughter. Yeah, and that lockbox, like, I don't know. I thought it was just a fast track to do this stuff. But maybe it's... Go ahead. Do whatever. Okay, so I'm going to move. Uh, interrupt to search this token here. Portrait of an yeah. ancestor lady, Helena, is hung on the wall. You're going to need yeah. a clue token, probably. Well, that's helpful. You're certain there is something very strange about the depiction of Lady Helena's ancestral coat of arms. Oh. Okay. That's what leads to the to the safe. It's something to do with the coat of arms and, and all this stuff. There's something there. Okay. So I my think. lore is three. Uh, sorry, I got one, which is not definitely going to be Maybe. enough. Maybe. Mm. Your knowledge of English... Heraldry is too spotty to be of any immediate use. So you think we need this, right? I shouldn't move? No, I, I don't think we need it, but it's something you can do that, that could lead to a quicker way You're out. already there. But it might be a waste. Yeah. But it might not be. Do it. Yeah, I don't know. Um, or I could move, and I do get an additional move, and I could be here. Or you could just do that as your first action. Yeah, or I do that as my first action, and then I just move to here. Just do it. Next turn. Okay, I'll, I'll, I'll search it again next round. Next round? Well, I, I don't have another action because I moved. Oh, yeah, true. Damn. All right. We're all done? Yeah. yeah. The clues you have gathered disprove everything you once knew about the world. This method affects the investigator with the most clues. <laughs> it's you, <laughs> Kyle, it is you. Damn journal. You revere your notes, attempting to uh, reconcile your new information with the world you remember. You're rolling for lore to pass. You could spend one of those many clues you have. Yeah. If you pass, you determine that your past ignorance was understandable but dangerous. If you failed, you would have had to lose clues. The portal there. flares, yada yada, no immediate effect. Investigator phase. The fact that Rob thinks it's a waste makes me interested. Yes. <laughs> okay, let me go first. I'm not saying it's a waste, but I'm like, I, I just would rather you guys make those decisions. It, it might not be a waste. It might lead to something that's safe. But I still relate this to that first scenario where there is some kind of like, I know there's a shortcut in one of the scenarios they yeah. designed for this game. And it's something like you have to like, all the things have to align. You have to solve some like puzzle, find some book, get some notes, put it together, unlock something. But it's a total shortcut to the scenario. And this may be what this is, but maybe it's not. Maybe it's just a huge distraction thing, which they also put in scenarios. Yeah. Well, uh, but it helps. Try, all that stuff try. leads to more story, too. So it's like, it's not a bad thing. Yeah. But you just can't take forever searching every token. That's no. the whole thing. Yeah, we're going to search it again. All right. Same thing. Lore of three. I want to know what it is because it's different. It's something yeah, we haven't we don't seen. Know. I do want to know. But uh, I got two more. Two. You don't want to clue token I, I don't have can't? any. So it's three total. That should be enough. 
You realize what is bothering you. The image of a strange gray creature quartered into the coat of arms. Rather than a depic uh, depiction of an animal, the creature looks more like an image of a stone idol. Hmm, stone idol. If only we knew Did more it? about it. Gain two clues, then discard the search token. Isn't that exactly what this said last time? I don't know. I'm, I don't remember. I'm 99% sure, that sure that that's the same thing that that said last time. You say so. so we watch the I, episode later. But I'm out. wondering if... Yeah, if you search that, if it would be the same, or if me searching that changes. I don't know, but I'm... Okay, so then I'm going to move. One, two. Um, I have an additional move, but let's open this one. So yeah, so no, I'll stop there. Would you want to open this one? You have options for next time. I know, but I think I want to open and get this part going. There was, an, there was a guy in here last yeah. game, so I don't know if that's the same. But okay. Mm -hmm. yeah. Kyle, what do you want to do? Or what do you want to do? I don't know. I'm just going to start hitting up as many search tokens as possible while waiting for Mel to get a key to put in the floorboard or... Yeah. I don't know if you want to check that yellow in your room if you care or go down the hall. This was the thing that she needs to unlock because it's like a sealed, broken thing. Don't waste her time on it because we know she unlocks I'm it I'm going there time. next time. This is where her... In her time, it's the room to the office. We the just have an open door. Up, yeah. But she has like a bookcase she has to interact with to get in there. And that's where the idol was last time. But I don't know where she found the silver key, but she has to put it under before... In the bed. Okay, but it's now before we can do this. Yeah. So me being in this room is kind of a waste till we get a silver key. But I, I was just going to search that thing that's on the floor there. Yeah, pick up thinking, the other stuff while you wait for me. You could go and reveal this room too, Kyle. I or, was thinking of maybe opening Yeah, this. That's, that's something to do too, yeah. That's what I would think. Go do that. One, two, one. Next turn, you can do that. Yeah. Okay. Okay, Kyle's so I, I will just interact with the uh, yellow thing on the floor, I think. Let me just check what it is. Shiny object. Uh, yeah, let's check the glowing object. The object is thin and black, but the surface of it shines brightly in different colors. Looking into the glow, you find it displaying a grid of strange symbols that react to you when you touch them. Uh, tap to attempt the puzzle using observation. I have four, plus That's I get two extra steps. Right? Wow. Boom, boom, boom. Yeah, my ability. Six. Oh, it's these ones. Oh, yeah. Where were all the puzzles? Was that puzzle, that yellow one in your room, Kyle? This one? I don't one? remember. I don't remember. No, that's not a puzzle. Hmm. I feel there was like four puzzles. But yeah, there, yeah, there is a puzzle. Was. There's a puzzle, I think, to open whatever this was um, to get the girl to there spawn. There was one for this, I think. Yeah, the puzzles are mainly on yours, except for I have one. It's all red. Red <laughs> so. is all throughout the game. It's all red. So I have six attempts here. Uh, so I could use four of those just trying every single color. <laughs> All right, let's do... Wow, that would actually, I mean, it is helpful. Yeah, yeah, it would be helpful. That's what I always do because you find out if a color doesn't exist. And then you can just... The drawer was a puzzle. Yeah, yeah the drawer on was On your a... side then probably it was a puzzle. The lockbox was the puzzle on my side. Oh. It wasn't a puzzle, I, think, I don't yeah, think. Th that was on our side. Maybe it was, but I'd be... Wow. One's in the right spot. But you no, you yeah. got to try one of each color. No, but then how is? It? Oh, not and like this. No, you're gonna spend no. four guesses. Yeah, and then I'll know exactly how much of each color is in the puzzle. Oh man. I'm okay. Just being silly. Okay, I was gonna say. <laughs> At least do two green and two yellow. Mm, no greens in the one of the front two. Yeah, one yellow is in the puzzle, and one green, and green is in one of the first two. Yep. Mm -hmm. So green. Uh, yellow is not in the first two. Yellow no. is in the second two. So yeah. let's try blue, yellow, red. Whoa. They're all in the puzzle, but all in the wrong spot. So we know that yeah. in the first part, yeah. green. Switch that one and the yellow. Uh, yeah, let's try blue, green, uh, red, then yellow. Yeah. Okay, two so the yellow red. and the, the red, I think. No, or no. no the switch, the, switch the blue and the red. The blue and the red, yes, 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 sorry. Because we know the green and the yellow yeah. should be right. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Blue. And yellow. Wow. You rock that puzzle. Done. Didn't even need those two extra. <laughs> the image changes and a black and white image of a Lady Helena appears on the otherwise multicolored glossy surface. A paragraph of text is below the photo and it appears to be describing a report of a missing statuette. According to the article, the statuette went missing on the day you arrived at Lady Helena's estate. In a blue script beside the article, the words last known location and get this and harvest an unstable timeline. House wasn't in use in the 40s. Good hideout. 
are written. Gain two clues and discard a search token. So they're traveling to, through time. They stopped in the 40s because the house wasn't in use and they've used it as a hideout. And they mentioned the word blue. Blue. Where? Uh, in a blue, in a script, blue script beside and a red the article book. words. And <laughs> Does that change your thought on red? Well, I just did blue and red in my puzzle. Yeah, and green and yellow. yellow. Yellow and green. Look for that. <laughs> Um, was it called a statue in on in Melside? An statuette, idol or something. An idol. Is that, yeah, I can't remember. All the something same. like that. Yeah. It's all referring to that same thing. I yeah. just wonder if it shrunk. The board with the string was a puzzle. Oh yeah, remember? Oh, it was a puzzle. Remember, it was like the police. Uh, you well, know, you the, like, oh, yeah, the yeah, lines yeah. connected yeah. lines yeah, thing. Yeah, it was. So, I mean, you're you right. Should head there now. Okay. Right? Oh, this is gone. So that's gone. Yep. Yeah, and you, that, uh, yeah, you can okay, move. Okay, move me back to that then, two spaces. Yeah, because you guys can just interact with stuff while That's I That's what I'm saying. Tell me here. where all the puzzles are. I'll go try to well, kill them all. Well, I don't remember. They remember. <laughs> the chat remembers. Chat remembers. The chat remembers. All right, that's good. We are done. Okay. It's going to give us a monster a bit. Whispered voices drift through the halls. Amanda Sharp glances about anxiously, looking for where the sound could be coming from. <laughs> <laughs> While distracted, she walks face first into a wall. <laughs> oh, Amanda Sharp suffers one face down damage. I'm just getting hurt, and there's like nothing going on here. This is crazy. Yeah, and for no reason, it just always is you. It's a bunch of crap. That's funny. It's fine with me. That's basically trying to get you to pass the flesh ward through the the floorboards because it's just giving me the damage. It's trying to remind you, like you can pass stuff. I haven't got to the floorboard I'm yet. I'm just kidding. It's all good. <laughs> But I will try. Uh, that's it. Go ahead. Okay, right? let me go first. Let me open this or search this. Explore. Uh, this one? Yeah. Door leads to another room in the estate. Explore! Yeah. A long hallway stretches before you. Discard the explorer token and place hall two tile and a wall as indicated. Hall two tile. No, no, I'm in here. Oh. <laughs> it's like half Joins half. the room, yeah, yeah. Mm. Like that, and then he blocks this wall. Yep. Okay. You wait until Lady Helena returns. I'm not afraid of you. The raised voice of a young woman can be heard behind this door. Loud crashes come from the room. Place an explore token as indicated. A locked desk on one side of the hall. Its legs have been carved into the shape of frolicking satyrs. Place a search token as indicated. A heavy, beautiful carved bookshelf looms over the hall. Place a search token as indicated. One of the floorboards looks a little loose. You might be able to hide things underneath it. Place an interact, tokes, interact token as indicated. Oh, uh, the door is a plaque that, that says billiards room. Place an explorer token as indicated. And throw a barricade on the floor. Holy tokens, Batman. You may move one space in the explored area. Yep. Barricade was in this one. Yep, yep. Okay, and I will move. Okay, so I just explored. I will uh, search here. A locked desk sits against the wall. Its legs have been carved. Yep, yep, yep. You realize the lock is fragile. It'd be just as easy to force the thing open as it would be to pick the lock. Oh, this one I remember. Uh, strength is five, so yeah, let's, let's force. Uh, force it. Yeah, I was going to say. You attempt yeah. to open it. You attempt to pry up the lid. Strength. Show those muscles. Yep. Uh, t ooh, two, three is like always a good number. What is two? Yeah, I don't want to do this again. Three. Yes. With a painful clicking sound, the lid lifts. Part of the lock dangling uselessly downward. Inside you find a household expense documents kept by one of the staff. Underneath there are several reports of strange figures being sighted around the estate. It appears Lady Helena was being watched by... At least several weeks, uh, being watched for at least several weeks. Gain two clues and discard the search token. Okay. One, two. So now in our time, that should discard be. Discard this. Okay, now, yeah, now you guys can interact with that. So... That's me done. So I should interact with that right now then? Is that okay? What? Or no, I'm with the, the puzzle. Yeah. Sorry, that's not me in the hall. Yeah. Sorry. I can do it now if you want. Yeah, yeah, go ahead, go ahead. You right, want to do that? Sure, yeah. A locked desk is pushed against the wall, its legs have been carved, blah, blah, blah. On closer inspection, it looks as though someone broke the lock mechanism some time ago. Look at that. Search. 
I, I love this idea of the time travel stuff. This is cool. Uh, let's see if we can read that bigger. Uh, with the lock destroyed, you simply lift the lid. Among the Ill illegible yellowing papers, you find the manual for a safe. I freaking told you. And I freaking oh, told you. There's the yellow pages, so we just oh, need to find something green. Awesome. I told you. Yellowing papers, you find the manual for a safe. Scribbled on the back of the manual is a short note. Password reminder. First two numbers. The wrongful execution. Ooh. Last number is how many times the statue is in the house arms. Gain two clues and discard the search token. Hold on. Re we need to read this one more time. Yep, yep. What? The last I think number we know, is how many times... We know times... the date of the, the wrongful execution, I think. The wrongful right? execution, wasn't that 1601? Oh. Oh. <laughs> 1601 right? Well, where did four come from? Uh, it is in that string document thing. I remember it talked about... Oh. That was the one I told how many times you could yeah, see yeah, something in the code of We haven't learned that this round. Well, this, this game is about replaying it over and over again. You're supposed to kind of remember so You're going to find it out right now, right? I hope so. Yeah. Okay. 1601 and 4, says Buell. Oh, the Meeple Monkey. Sorry to go for a while. We have a new uh, above in the house. We'll probably dip in. Oh, no worries. Oh, no yeah, worries. No, no you don't worries. get to That's all good. It's all good. Imagine right. that just ends the scenario. I got my clues. So I'm good. Mel, Mel should, should have, have read, read it. it. No, she got the 1601 when she read that. Not the four. Oh, was it in, in this? No, that you were looking in at the a picture, picture there. I, I don't, we it, have to there was back. something else. There was two things last playthrough of this scenario that talked about the coat of arms or house of arms or the symbols you see. Yeah, I, I remember it saying so how many. So we'll that, find out. We'll find in out. In that yeah. string thing message, I remember. Well, Rob's going to get it. So the wrongful execution was in 1601. That yeah, we read this playthrough. We know that now. That we know. Yeah, yeah. All right. So my second one, I'm going to do one. Hold on. You're not. Rob needs to switch cameras. Oh, yeah. Sorry. They can't, they can't see what we're doing. Yep. <laughs> I was blanking out. Uh, so, I'm here. so do you want to. Uh, one. Yeah. Two. Oh, so, okay. before you do that, I also, um, Buell says, I believe so it was in the picture. Can we go look back at the log? I was going to ask you that. Yeah, can yeah, we look let's back do it. at let's the log to when I searched the. Yeah. Oh, we can try. Let's try to do it. It said you looked at the coat of arms, but I didn't think it actually uh, said. Before, it was the turn before. Last round, at least. Yeah. The image. Is it that one? No. This is no, that was me. No, okay, sorry. I feel like it was. Oh, I went first. That. Was four. Hung on the wall. Search it. I wasn't. Oh, you wasn't passed the only one. Yeah, yeah. So and you waited another round. Yeah. You waited another round. But I was first, so it should be the first thing. Yeah, here we go. You search three. You realize what's bothering you. The image of a strange gray creature quartered into the coat of arms. Rather than a depiction of an animal, the creature looks more like an image of a stone idol. Yeah. That's all. So we know okay, the stone so idol. So we need to find out in somewhere else how many times the stone idol is in the coat of arms or something like that. Okay, and I think we can get that where so you're So can standing. I read the log of the last playthrough? Can we go back that far? No, we can't go back that far. Can we go one week back? So Jim is saying 1412. 1412. No. I think it's 1601. What? Tell, can, oh, tell well, us let's what go in the message log. Let's find out where it talked about the wrongful execution. Yeah, 1601, I thought. Where was that? That was, was in that round two, no, I want to say. Journal. Okay, it wasn't here yet. No, it wasn't there. Um, I think that was the journal. Quartered? Oh, quartered. Yeah, no. quartered four. Oh. Oh, from last round. They're remembering stuff from last no, round. No, yeah. no, no. It's in what I just read. What? Quartered? Yeah. I think so quartered four? is just like carved. <laughs> That's how I read that. That's oh, what I thought too. Okay, okay. It's like carved into it. I, I mean, like, though, oh, we yeah, can okay, try. Sure. We have time. You can try. If you know the first two sets. I'm looking for a 1601 also. Yeah, right there. Quartered into the coat of arms. I'm, I'm Googling. What are you Googling? Uh, what that means. Gray creature. What quartered, quartered means? Into, yeah. Like it was sectioned. Oh, oh my gosh. <laughs> that is gross. Hanged, drawn, and quartered. Yeah, quartered. Yeah, yeah. It's like a guy's being like cut open on a ladder. Hanged, drawn, and quartered. Yeah. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, but does it have to do with... Quarter divided into four equal or corresponding parts. That's quarter. Hmm. Stationed or... Hold on. Let's see if I can find quartered. What does it mean to be drawn and quartered? The conviction traitor was fastened to a hurdle or wooden panel and drawn by a horse to the place of execution where he was then hanged, almost to the point of death, emasculated, disemboweled, beheaded, and quartered, chopped into four pieces. 
Okay, so we can try 16, 0, 1, 4. Yeah, but where's the 16 and 1? Cut into we 4. We gotta find that again. Cut into 4. Oh my gosh, okay. A strange gray creature quartered. So it's cut into 4 pieces on the coat of arms. And then later, uh, what does it ask? Where's the... Oh, oh, what's the wrong thing? Let me get back to the game. Was it? Oh, I have a picture of it. Yeah, it With the lock destroyed, you simply lift the lid. Among the illegible yellowing papers, you find the manual for a safe. Scribbled on the back of the manual is a short note. Password reminder, first two numbers, the wrongful execution. Last number is how many times a statue is in the House of Arms. Yeah, Four? find where it's talking about, like, the 1601. That was round, I want to say, round yeah, two. Yeah, I know. That's what I'm trying to find out. It was like a big blurb too, so it'd be easy. Not, it wasn't round one hundred percent because that was when we just fought enemies. Okay. Pretty sure. Right there it there. is. You decipher it to find a summation of the trial and execution of a suspected witch. Notably, this witch was a not too distant ancestor of Lady Helena's. The ancestor was accused of witchcraft by her noble father-in-law and ultimately executed in 1601. Reading over the testimony that condemned her, you recognize the words of the spell. Blah, 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 blah. Fish. Yeah, so, I mean... So, wrongful execution? It's definitely 16 Because witches were not real, but in this world, who knows? I don't know. Oh, maybe it wasn't wrongful. I don't know. Well, but, that's a known thing. It's like they were yeah. burning people yeah. to be witches, yeah. but it wasn't, like, proper. Yeah, yeah. Like, I see what you're saying. Yeah, yeah. The, um... But how many times the statue appears in the quarter, like coat of arms? But there was if, something else in the puzzle I'm about to solve yeah, yeah. that talked about. But like, even if it's cut into four, it's still one. One statue. thing I know. Yeah, one thing. So there's two well, things you I can think... try: sixteen oh one, well, I mean, and then gonna, a one or a four. This. But yeah, yeah, let me try my you're thing. Try this. This is cool. Uh, all right. So Kyle, you're done. Am I turn now? Yep. Various papers and photographs are pinned on the wall, and some are connected by a faded length of string. Mm, she was accused of being a witch, which doesn't mean she was. Yep. The quartered, the quartered isn't is in it. it. Yeah, okay, let's find out here. Okay, I think it it's is in, in what this. you're it's doing. This. Yes, I think it is. It's hard to make sense of the sheer volume of information. You try to put yourself in the shoes of the person who constructed it. Try to attempt the puzzle. So I'm using lore, or no, influence, which I have three, and then I have two additional steps when attempting puzzles. So I, I can do this five. This is even exactly the same as it was. Yeah, they use the same puzzle, it seems. Like, but I don't the know. pieces even seem in the same oh, spot. Oh, like in the same spot, yeah? Yeah. So this goes over here. Yep. And that connects, but this goes up here. Is that in the right? Nope. No, nope, but. It's this one goes up there. And the second, but hold on, those the F, two flip. This goes down. Yep. But is that where I want yep. to switch up? Because that first? one goes where that one is. No, it doesn't. That bottom one? No, it doesn't. Yes, it does. It does. That, if that one underneath, if you just switch them, they're both in the yeah, right spots. Yeah, that one's. This is in the right spot? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, okay. So this needs to go over here? Yeah, look at the. Look at, but if this put needs it, to go down yeah, first. That has yeah. To go down for sure. Okay, yeah, I see. And then these two flip. Yeah. And that's four moves. But this is in the wrong spot. Yeah. So this just flips with this. And that's five moves, right? Yep. Yep. Listen to Mel. <laughs> Only I never I... have and I'm not going to start now. <laughs> I could just see the red. <laughs> okay, here you go. You realize the person putting together this wall was obsessed with the genealogy of Lady Helena's family. Bizarrely, the dates on the materials have a nonsensical range reaching from the 12th century to the 22nd century. Unexpectedly, you recognize a picture here other than Lady Helena. There is one of the young woman who resembles her, Lady Elizabeth, pinned up on the far end of this board. If this board is to be believed, Lady Elizabeth is actually Lady Helena's great, 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 great granddaughter. Gain the missing link unique item and two clues, then discard the search token. Unique. So that doesn't do the coat of arms thing like I thought it would. No, that definitely changed things for us. So where was that? Missing link. What to be? Did you get two clues too? Is that what it said? The blade. Yeah, yeah. It said you got two clues. Yes, or... please. Two clues. Yes. Yeah. Give me those little tokens. Okay. I feel safe when I have more of those tokens. Well, you did it say discard? Yeah, it's gone. Um, I mean, you could go towards the safe. No. 
22, 22. I think Jim's just randomly <laughs> putting numbers in to mess with us. No, but I think, Jim, I think that the um, 1601 is, because yeah, that, that's the execution date. Yeah. 1601 4? Oh, you think I, you will think no, I, I found it. I don't know about 4, time. but oh. 1601. So Mel needs to find the other clue, maybe. Okay. okay. What are you well, going to do? Uh, gonna... Yeah, I'll just go down to this end, because maybe there's something in there I can find it more. Okay. That's all of us? Yep. yep. Whoops, sorry. I didn't show it. So I just moved down the hall to end here. Oh, we were not. Yeah, yeah sorry. Yeah, sorry, uh, I forgot to flip back. In the investigator phase. Still no monsters. Come on. A cacophony of creaks and knocks erupt all around you. This mythos of NFX investigator with the lowest uh, lore at four. Three. Three. Um, you have more clues. <laughs> By one. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you want me to take it? Sure, I'll, I'll take it. You okay. took the last okay. one. Okay, that's fair. The sound is unnerving, and you fear what could be causing it. It's Will, Will looking for two. I should have taken it. You have three, you have four. Oh. Yeah. yeah but was, you never know. Two to pass. You spend a clue. Yeah, I'll spend Okay. If you pass, the sound must be a vermin in the walls. Done. Okay. Portal shifts. Nice. Rapid, different colors, no immediate effect. It's missing the rest of the text. Does it tell us about stuff on the floor and clues and transferring or something, whatever the heck it keeps saying, when there is something to pass between us and when there's not, it doesn't? Because that is completely different than what it says 99% of the time. Is that in the, that's not in the log, is But it, it said already the other the way about the things on the floor. Yeah, it always says that floor thing, but I just noticed this is, this is different leaving out that floor part. So that is probably signifying that something is like, Good to go or not good to go, I think. But which way? Well, we don't have anything to pass right now. You you took care of that bookshelf thing. I don't know. Maybe it's like saying there's nothing right now. I gotta go I gotta go here next. That's yeah, where maybe. I need to I go. I don't know. I just noticed that though. Like why is it doing that? I don't know. Oh, here we go. Oh no. A disembodied voice echoes through the house, snooping around, huh? Let's see how well you deal with this. Spawn a night gaunt as indicated. What the heck is a night gown? Of course, I got too close to the safe. <laughs> He's too close. Um, Get him, boys. Now go to bed. Uh, oh yeah, that's what you need to do. I need to go to the bed. Yes, I'm on my way. Night but I have to. I have to do something with the bookshelf first, right? Because I did. I pushed the bookshelf out out of the way. Oh, the weird lights probably means Mel changed the future. Oh, okay. Oh. This says weird lights every single time. Night Gaunt sounds like a 1920s newspaper. But it didn't say it that time. Here's our Night Gaunt. No, it said the uh, colors, but just didn't say the floor part. Mm. True. And we know the colors are red and blue right now. And yellow. Do we, we didn't find yellow. Yes, we did. What was yellow? Yellowing pages. Uh, we just haven't found green. The last. Well, I don't think that really matters. but <laughs> I don't know, but it's weird. It's how you describe most of those things anyway to show that they're aging or they're not aging and stuff. <laughs> It's just the funny. Night, the Night Gaunt sounds like a 1920s newspaper yeah, just editor. Oh. So if you don't listen, you don't <laughs> oh, listen. Oh, no, so. I wasn't listening exactly. The Night Gaunt moves two spaces towards the nearest investigator, attacks the investigator in space with the lowest it was attacking Kyle. Yep. Mm -hmm. The creature takes to the air with a single beat of its wings and diving down to attempt to crush you with its clawed feet. Suffer two damage, but uh, agility negates. You there got you it. There you go. Look you at that. You got it. Now you have to do a horror <laughs> check. Come on, man. It's okay. You have no... Damage high wounds yet. Oh. Keening emanates from the creature with the mm. blah blah blah. Suffer three face down horror, but <laughs> will minus a die negate. So you're only yeah, two dice. So I'm already getting a horror. Uh, you could spend a clue and only yeah. take one so face down horror. One face take down one. horror. There you go. Well, Which I'm sure will be flipped up at some point. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. And we end. Yes, check the bookshelf. That's what I'm doing next. I need to move it. For some reason. Well, no, you need to get in the I office. That's where the it. idol was. Yeah, but I need to move it because that opens this room. But do we need to do something? Uh, no, you would need to do something in your time. Yeah, I need to do it. And I need to move the bookcase because that opens the okay, long room that's up here. Okay, go do the bookcase then so, if that's what you want to do. Uh, one, I'll interact. Yeah, I think you always need to kind of go first so it kind of sets up our turn if we're doing things properly. Uh, okay, so the bookshelf. Book shelf. At initial glance, you find nothing more interesting than an outdated encyclopedia set. However, you notice some cracks in the wall surrounding the bookshelf, as though something behind it is putting great strain on the wall. You attempt to push the heavy shelf aside. Use that strength. Strength of five. 
Uh, I got none, but I do get two clues. Uh, I want to move the bookshelf, so I'm going to spend them and hope it's you enough. You think two is enough, though, or you could just like kind of do one or wait a turn or something? Okay, you can try two. I'm not yeah. going to stop you, but it's just like... Yeah, it's not. Oh. But you can do like another one next turn. Hopefully yeah, you get so it. That's, but you'll roll like four successes next turn, and it's like nope, that's it then. Just gobbled up some clues. Yep, I just moved a turn. Okay, uh, our side. Me done. Well, I might as well attack this thing. <laughs> okay. So what are you attacking it with? Um, hmm. Heavy weapon as usual. Fire extinguisher of the face. Uh, yeah. You swing the weapon in a tight circle, building up momentum before thrusting outward toward the thrusting out toward the creature. Agility, looking for two to pass. You spend yeah, a clue to make it pass. Yeah. If you pass, the speeding yeah. weapon slams into the beast. A terrible mass, uh, the terrible mass heaving backwards. The monster suffers damage equal to the weapon's damage plus your test result. So that is four total, right? Yep. Yeah. Boom. But he needs one more to die. Of course. You gonna fight him again? Yeah. Attack. Heavy weapon. Yep. Yeah. Strength this time, but you just need one to pass. And if you pass, your weapon connects solidly with appendages. Just show us that one, Kyle. Yeah, three, four successes. <laughs> boom, 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 boom. He's dead. Cool. Gain a clue. Uh, I don't think there's anything bad on there, but I did click fast. Uh, let me just check. I'm more. I don't think so. Well, I don't know. Sometimes I, what we learned last time, I read too quick, and then it's like I miss that even on the positive stuff. Uh... Nope, oh, weapons no, damage good. plus test result. Okay, we gotta watch later though, because it will be like, even though you pass, you get damage. Yeah, yeah. You did great, but you still get hurt. You go crazy. Yep. There you go. All right, uh, I will just click on this one here. A cheap wood door looks like it's most, uh, like it has only recently been affixed to the wall. Explore. Uh, books are stacked and piled all around the room. Discard this explorer token and place the library tile as indicated. It looks like someone recently examined several books. Place a search token as indicated. Of course, that library. Yeah, no. uh, yeah, sure. Door yep. up at the top. Yep. I can just do... That, just to yeah, un yeah. unconnect them. Well, your house is a lot bigger than mine. So far. Something you could use to light your surroundings has been left behind. Place a candles, common item that's indicated. There you go. You got the candles and the fire extinguisher just in case. Like it's going to get dark. Let me move one space in the explorer area. Yes, I'll move in there, please. Wait, what is it at the end? Looks like someone's reading there. So, okay, I'm going to go for those books. So, can you just move me up one space to those? And that's my turn done. We're all done? All right, yep, that's yep. everyone. Wow. All right, back to this shenanigans. Please don't bring anything in my world. A patch of deadly cold air blows around Rita Young, sealing her breath and cracking her joints. Oh, that's me. Rita Young suffers two damage, but your strength will negate. Then, she flips two horror face up. Okay, I don't have any, but Good. let's see. Um, what negates, sorry, two? Mm -hmm. two? Two damage. Yeah. I'm going to negate okay, that. Okay, so you get let's, no damage. No damage. Let's not even have anything to All right, worry about. Alright, that's it. Investigator phase. Okay. I will... Let me attempt the bookshelf again. Okay. Go for the bookshelf again. <sighs> Heavy, beautifully carved bookshelf looms over the hall. It's still strength. Yep. So Initial strength glance, five. you find nothing more interesting than an outdated encyclopedia. Okay, whatever. Yep. One. One. <laughs> wow. A lot of clue tokens there. Uh, or a lot of clue results. There we go, yeah, I got so. it, finally. You managed to pull the shelf away from the wall with a loud creaking sound behind the doorway through which you can see a long forgotten office. Discard the search token and place the office tile as indicated. Okay. An old piece of parchment is nailed to the opposite wall. Place the search token as indicated. An archaic lockbox covered in strange runes sits right on the rotting desk. Place the search token as indicated. That's my goal. Oh, okay. There's no line on a bed? No, the bed's up here. I'm going Move that way. one into the area if you'd like. Okay, yes, I would like. Now what? So I can move to get in position for the lockbox, or I 
search this now, then on my next turn I move and search. But do you need more turns on the lockbox or anything? No, no, no. Because then you might want to be in position. Maybe to I search on the way on back. Yeah. So then I will use my second action. So I just explored. So second action is just to move. That's me done. I'm not gonna flip that over. Search. Yeah, I might search it on my way back. Because in case I do need... But it could actually be what we need to find the code for the thing. Yeah, and you are right there. Yeah, let's go with my first option. I'm going to search. And it's yellowed. Is yellow we still need? <laughs> no, we need green. Uh, <laughs> oh, but writing is definitely English, but it's from a time when the language and its writing are quite different, making it hard to interpret. So, lore of three. Hello, Elizabeth. Good evening. Uh, zero. Oh, my gosh. So, yeah. In this curly F supposed to be an S, you're uncertain. Oh. Yep, I can't read it. Yeah, see, that's the one that's going to waste your time. Yeah, but I'm not worried about that. I'm going to go for the lockbox. If I have time, I'll come back to it. Mm -hmm. But the sure. lockbox, I need to get the key. <laughs> <Time to see. laughs> yes. All right. Uh, so that's me done. All right. Uh, I know. I'm just going to interact with yeah, this yeah, thing. Just do it. Looks like someone's recently examined, examining, was examining several books. Some of these tomes, let me see. Some of these tomes are strange, describing places and items like which you have never heard. Most of the books appear to be history books, but there are magic tomes mixed in as well. One describes a unique methodology for finding lost objects. Many refer to siphoning power from artifacts to increase one's own abilities. Gain one clue and discard the search token. Okay. Yeah, so I'm just killing time over here. Yeah. That's okay, we're gonna find uh, that coat of arms soon. Okay. Can we grab the cameras? Yeah. I'm just going to, what does it do? It's a light source. You may discard this card to convert all, oh, it's like a focus. Oh, when oh. casting a spell only. Uh, all oh. clues and when, yeah. I mean, it's not bad for if you do start having to discard random items, maybe it'll potentially sure. be one I'll that just you pick discard it up. Yeah, by. yeah, true. Yeah, you know? I'll just pick it up. Sure, done. All right, okay. Kyle. I'll explore this. Uh, down here. Lady Helena was taken through here. A dusty plaque reading lounge is on the door. Explore. Yeah, just shuffle it up. Even put it up your way, Kyle, maybe a bit. Like, up to the top of the screen. I'll move uh, stuff. That's probably good. What is this one called? Interior. Mm, nope. Yeah, this way. No. Oh, better. The carpet in the bottom left. There you go. A little rug or whatever. Okay. All right. Continue. Uh, a woman seals a golden key inside a wall safe. Oh, yeah. Get that you do key. do not see Lady Helen. That's the gold key to open that door. That's the quick thing. Rather than getting the silver key, yeah. doing the bed and yeah, yeah. making the path, that's the quicker way to do it all. It yeah. is a shortcut. So I don't need to worry well, about the, the silver yeah, the gold key? gold key just opens this, right? Yes. Oh, yeah, this yeah, yeah. yeah. But we need to know the safe combo. Lady Elizabeth looks up for a moment. Her resemblance to Lady Helena is uncanny. Don't worry, I'm just borrowing the old girl for a little bit to help find something. Family matter. I'll put her back when I'm done. In the meanwhile, I find the 40s to be an aw awful dreary, don't you? I think I'll continue my search somewhere a, a little more comfortable and safe from your bumbling. She steps back, and you realize a portal opened behind her. The rift closes around her instantly, and she's gone. The room has been repurposed into storage. You recognize a lot of old, broken furniture that's been pushed against the walls. A locked metal chest is among the junk. Place to search something is indicated. I think I just got an item out of that, that's the same but I don't know if it was related time? to the story. Oh yeah, I spent time, like, wasted my time in there. On the far side of the hall, all sorts of strange items lie in a heap. Alien objects and futuristic looking weapons are side by side with ancient tomes. It is dizzying, but you recognize something of use among the bizarre things. It's place the Elder Word Common item is indicated. Don't you have that? No. Oh, you have the Elder Sign. Did we use that? I don't remember. I don't, yeah, I'm not the sure. The Elder Ward. Roll one additional die while monsters attacking you. Oh, yeah, I did pick that up in there. Okay. But it didn't help. <laughs> it didn't help. Sound is pound. Uh, someone is pounding on the other side of this door. Muffled shouts punctuate the bangs. A golden lock on the... Door glints in the dim light. Place an explore token as indicated. You may move one space in the explored area. Okay. I'll interact with this. With the safe? Safe. Oh, man. A safe is built into the wall. Uh, the dial on it goes from 0 to 100. 
You cannot break into it using your normal means. Instead, you will need to know the combination of the safe to get inside. You found a note that stated the combination was a number related to a wrongful execution and that the last number was how many times the statue was in the coat of arms. That's cool that it reminds you. Yeah, that we yeah. found that information. Yeah. 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 Cool. Do you want to try? Sure. Did, I don't know. Do the 1604. I mean... 160104? What? 160104? Yeah, 1601. It just seems like the four like, part... 16 I one, I guess not. You don't think the four is right? I mean, it's a, it's a, it's a guess. Oh! oh, that yeah. was it. You pull on the safe handle and it opens. Inside, you find the golden key, sitting atop all kinds of different currencies, including pieces of eight and strange, uh, pieces of eight and strange thin cards. Gain the golden key unique item, then discard the search token. There you go. Sweet. Wow. wow. Discard the search token. So stuff from the past, stuff from the future for money. It's just trying to keep emphasizing this time travel stuff. About they're, they're, just, they're from the future, and we're going all the way to the past. We're in the middle of it. That's cool. Oh, so cool. Yeah, but now that we've done that, we've like... Unlocked. <laughs> Buell of... was right the first time. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Did you, Buell, did you say that in the last... In last week's play? No. Or just he, the first I time today? Uh, he said it today the first okay. time. I don't yeah. know about last week. Wow. Because wow. I don't think we saw 1601 last time. I don't think we We saw we all different years. Because no, I didn't look yeah, at that last there. time. That yeah. was like on my like last ditch effort. So, yeah. Yeah, yeah it was wow. quartered was the key. Like, statue was sliced up into four yeah, times. Yeah, wow. Or no, just today. Okay, wow. So That's now cool. we've just That's kicked good. the timer into like double time, right? Probably. <laughs> it's just yeah. Probably. Um, so you need to oh, get her out of there and then that starts the whole... So I don't need the lockbox then, right? But I do need the idol that's... The idol is in this room. The you idol's find in the, the idol. Box. It is in the lockbox. Yeah, you, you need, need to get that. out of there and then the star spawn came and you need to get it into the floorboards. Okay. And then we need okay. to run into okay. the lady after you let her out of the room. Okay. Okay. We got this. Yeah. Maybe I can sneak through the floorboards and go backwards and help no. you. No. We, no, it doesn't we, work that way? No. No. Is that everyone gone? Uh, yes. Yeah, so you shouldn't have been playing with this thing, I don't think. Well, now it's too late to know that. I know. <laughs> uh, sorry, I'm clicking here. Oh, yeah, sorry, I'm pointing at things and no one can see. The objects Amanda Sharp has collected become crushing weights. Punishing her tired limbs. Amanda Sharp suffers two damage, but strength negates. My big strength of three. For each damage you suffer, she has to drop a random item. I know, this is, this, this is <laughs> the only thing I hate about this scenario is the, we want to make you drop your items. One, uh, two, so, uh, you suffer two. Yeah, so. I can spend one of my five clue tokens. I'm okay. <laughs> Don't rub it in over there. Ball in! <laughs> you have those candles as backup. See, the portal flares and shifts rapidly different colors. A moment later, sigils for seeking and finding flow over the floor of the hall. So it's this whole, like... Uh, over the floorboards, they're like, they're like transporting stuff between time. A sudden shrill scream is followed by a thud. Though the occasional crash still comes from this room, noises have mostly stopped. Sorry, am I supposed to move that somewhere? What? No, it's already there. No, okay. you took, yeah. you yep, did not check there. the bedroom. You took too long and bad oh, things have happened. shoot. Something's in there. Oh. On your side. And, yeah, now they died. And now in the future, they're a ghost. This they is awesome. They died because they locked them in the, be in the bedroom. This happened last home. time. This is a stupid ghost that trapped you. Yeah. Spectral figure of a maid rises up from the floorboards. So because you didn't go f help the maid in your time, she's now dead in a ghost I didn't archive. know she was in trouble. <laughs> they did say someone was in there screaming yeah. or there's some commotion or mm -hmm. whatever. Yeah, I we forgot. did this last time. You, you totally ignored it last time too, I think. I, I did, yeah. Because everything else looks shinier. Uh, spawn a ghost is indicated. <laughs> you guys can take care of the ghost. It's all good. Oh, this is so cool. Mel needed to save her, yeah. yeah but, I'm but that's okay. What would happen if you saved oh, her? If I save her? Yeah. Did you bump something? No, I think we're good. Uh, ghost. Yeah, I don't know what would have happened. We can find we opened, out. If we, we win, the someone. Last time? Yeah. Yeah, and she wasn't there, was she? No, because I didn't do it fast enough. Yeah, and then I she went in die. after the fact, yeah. And then I go in after, after thing. she comes back to life in your world. There he is, there he is. There's the ghost. There's the she ghost. needs to, like, take her body and burn it or something. Throw the ghost over there. She's in the bedroom. In the bedroom, yes. 
That's so sick. But that's good because I would waste a turn trying to kill her. Well, maybe the I wouldn't. The ghost moves I don't know. up to one space to be within range of as many investigators as possible and attacks the investigator within range. No one's within range. Uh, no investigators within range. Spirit calls out, but there's no one to hear it. The spirit vanishes and reappears somewhere else. The ghost moves to the nearest space within range of an investigator. The you nearest guys. space. So from where it started, start counting spaces. One, two, three, four. No, four, stop. And one, two, two three. three. Yep, so it goes. Goes to you. But she won't move back. What's, she's no, it never back. moved. It never moved. You you moved it. Yeah, because the first one it said. No, it said it, if it can get in range, I think. Uh, here, watch. I could be wrong, though. Uh, psh. The ghost moves. The ghost moves one space to be within range as many investigators as possible. So doesn't that mean it moves? Then it attacks. Oh yeah, I guess. Yeah, it moves one. Moves one space, to but be it's zero in range. Okay. But it's sure. even so. Yeah, but even so, so, it's still the same. Like still, you're okay. one, two, and three, then, yeah, and now one, it's, two, now it's three. Now moving out again, so it's, it's moved two spaces, right? No. No, no. no. It just was one. Just, just was one. one. And yeah, now this it's... is one, but now it's saying move again. Yeah, but it? it's got to figure out which way it's going. Which is one space out of the room. No, it's got to get within. The ghost moves to the nearest space within range of an investigator. So it needs oh, to get. Oh, it's move three to get in range with me. Yeah. Oh, I see. Uh, one, two, two three, and one, two, three to get in range. Oh, with it's we're tied. Yeah, you're tied because range is in that room. I don't know if you want to switch the screen though. Sorry. Yep. Sorry. Yeah, because to get to you, he only has to be here, which is also range. So I guess you guys can decide. Uh, I don't need, I like coming to distract me, I think. So you, you don't get tied up, uh, trying to get this open. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Is this, does she have anything on the bottom? Phasing. Mm. The monster can move through impassable borders and walls. Okay. Uh, oh, so then if she oh. can move through a wall. Oh, yeah, yeah. Then you are with. Yeah, yeah. So we should have done the attack on the last time. So I don't know how to correct Oh, that. yeah, because that first space she would have moved out. She yeah. would have moved but... through the wall. Whoops. It did say walls, right? I didn't just make yeah, that up. Yeah, but now it doesn't attack me. Yeah, borders and walls. But... Mm, yeah, it could have moved through the wall and just attacked me right there, but... I don't know, we can't fix that, so whatever. Okay, it's fine. Each investigator must resolve a horror check. Well, I'll do my horror check. Let's see what happens. Good thing I'm distracting it, though, so that you can do... Yeah, you can unlock this. Yeah. Uh, writhing in self, inflicted agony, the spirit lashes... At its own tattered flesh, pain flares through your own body in response. Over two face down damage, then flip two her face up. Wow. You're not even getting a chance to negate it. That's I'm annoying. Just, here's some more damage. Here's some more damage. Maybe I will put the flesh wound through there. You might as well. Like, it doesn't mean Kyle doesn't need to pick it up for sure. But, like, maybe well, if I can swing by and grab it and then get back into the game here. Yeah. Uh, yeah just swing on by the four boards. we just need to keep going quick. Yeah, I agree. I'm trying. All Sorry. right, so that's that. I have no luck today. Okay, let me go first. Yep, try to get the lockbox. Let box me move going. and interact with the lockbox. And please let me get in one shot. I know. Because I still have movement left. Cover in strange ruins since being in search. Yeah. Is this a puzzle? You attempt to decipher the ruins to open the lockbox. Tap, tap to attempt the puzzle using lore. You have three lore. And no clues. Dang it. Oh, man. Uh, I'm not going to get this <laughs> in right. three. Fuel. Fuel. Let's. Three. Yeah. Give yeah. <laughs> some help here. What's your guess? Um, you got three attempts here. Well, I. I mean, it's cheesy, but I always just do one of each color at the beginning just to see if there's... What do you want? Just tell me what to put in. Uh, or here, you do it. Yeah, yeah. Oh, I gotta do it over here, right? Yeah, but you can see the mouse in front of you, so it's still the same. No, but I'm like tr pointing the mouse at this. Yes, because it's the same. So if we put this over here... This is no, it's on green. Okay. Yeah, okay, thank you. So then just follow the mouse. Okay, so let's do green, yellow. Well, let's just do one of each. I don't think I'll solve this in three turns anyways. So three are in the freaking right here. spot. <laughs> and so it. something is a double this. color. and so, Something shouldn't this. be there. Okay, so let's do green, yellow, blue, green. Now it'll be only two stars. Yeah. No, it can't be. Oh, Go. miss again. Go. Oh! Wow! Whoa! Wow! Wow! Whoa! Whoa! You're such a genius, Mel. How did you figure that out so well? Well, that was lucky. That was a big horseshoe up here. <laughs> oh Inside God. the box is a tarnished silver key. What? Wow. 
Yeah, Buell. What do you think about that puzzle solving skills? You ain't got nothing on Mel now. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> Nerd. <laughs> Inside the box is a tarnished silver Ooh. key. Why was this hidden away? Gain the silver key unique item and discard the search token. Okay. So this is not needed. This was not the idol. Nope. No. So we need to make something happen still. <laughs> you need to get the girl out of the thing before the idol appears there. Yeah. That's what it is. Cause then, and then remember, as soon as she was freed, but the search token's gone. No, no, but it'll reappear. It'll remember, it, yeah, it, oh, it there. Okay. she goes. Oh, here's where to yeah, go get it. Cause she did have to run yeah. back there. So I'm not gonna move that. So we should have um, had Kyle go first. Bedroom. Oh, yeah. oh, is the idol oh, in the should, bedroom? Yeah, I should have gone first. No, Kyle just needs to trigger it by freeing her out of the bedroom oh, down what, here. What was in the bedroom yeah, then? Uh, whoops, whoops. Yeah, Kyle needs to do this first. Then you should have went. Well, yeah, we brain farted there. But at well, least I you're in the space. Was, I didn't think I was going to do it that yeah. fast. At least you're in the space, so you can grab it on the next thing. Just don't move, I don't think. Yeah. Because you need to grab it, and, and then, then one, two, three. Yeah, because the guy's going to appear right here. I don't know. If it's the same. Right, we'll do it now. Okay, I'll stay there. Oh, we screwed up there. Dang yeah, that was, it. That was bad. All right, hopefully it doesn't... I thought it was going to take me longer. Well, no, but even so, you shouldn't have like, wasted your time on that, period. We should just have Kyle go but first. But I also thought the idol was in there, to be honest. I know, I forgot. So we don't I forgot. remember. I forgot. I forgot. All right, Kyle's going? Yep. Mm -hmm. Might as well. <sighs> Someone is pounding on the outside of this locked door. Muffled shouts punctuate the bangs. A golden lock on the door glints in the dim light. You can explore only if you have the golden key item. Lady Helena leaps up from an old grimy bed. There you are. Quickly, we need to get going. She brushes past you. Discard the explorer token and place a person token as indicated. This is Lady Helena. You may move one space in the explored area. Here she, and then she runs away. Yeah. So you, you shouldn't have done that. You don't need to move in there. Mm. There's nothing in there. I don't know oh, why yeah, it does true. that. It's just because there was an explosion. It's just like, yeah, the default. All right, I need to get out of here to perform the scrying spell. Then we should find exactly what we're looking for. Move Lady Helena, as indicated. Yeah. There Lady there Helena mutters something beneath her breath, and the portal flares brightly different colors. Sigils sweep over the floor of her home in the past. Then suddenly, stop. I found it. Lady Helena calls. In the office, retrieve before Lady Elizabeth does. If you can somehow get it to me, I think we can send ourselves home and close this portal. Places are still going to indicated. Who has released the captive? One of Lady Elizabeth's ruffians appears suddenly. Spawn a child of the goat, as indicated. But that, that's okay. At this point, child you can Child of you the can goat. Just... Yeah, yeah, I can fight. Right in Kyle's face, of course. Yeah. See you, annoying. Or I can... But you still have another action. You can fight it. Yeah, it depends on much. Problem is, we're both like in trouble here with people. But you gotta wait yeah. till I get the idol to the floorboards, anyways. So now it's my turn. No, he still has no, more, I action. more action. Oh, you can fight that right yeah. now. Yeah. Yeah. Just what's the strength though? Let's find out. Four. Is... Four. Ooh. As we'll start punching it, maybe get lucky and. Yeah, get you might one shot it. Do the f okay attack. Oh, you're thinking about evading with your thing. Yeah. But you have no reason to evade. It's just, just going to follow you. you. Yeah. I, mean, I mean, if you kill it, it's less damage or horror checks you're going to have to do. Attack. Heavy weapon? Mm-hmm. You jab your weapon at your foe's stomach. Strength. You just need a passive one. If you pass, you strike the figure in the gut with an audible thud. The monster suffers damage equal to damage plus your test results. You got it. You got it for five. Boom, 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 boom. Monster kill. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Uh, let's go back. My turn? Yeah, yes. I think I should have oh, stayed there because I'm going to just attack the ghost with a gun that's going to go right through him. Attack for six. Uh, firearm. Right? That's all I got, really. Mm -hmm. You fire the specter. It does not work. Instead, focus your mind and scream at it. <laughs> Get out! <laughs> Get out of my head! Uh, will plus one. So I'm rolling five. Monster selfish damage equal to your test result. That's funny. Test results. I might as well do three. Okay. So halfway there. Continue. Attack. Fire him again. As the barrel of your gun uh, passes across the creature, it shows no fear as you direct your weapon at the environment. However, you feel the spirit's attention focus. Uh, this is observation of four. Two, if you pass... You that identify sucks. an item the creature holds, deer, and open fire. The monster's over two damage. Oh, yeah, yeah, this yeah. firearm's sucking against ghosts. Sure. Two spent. Right? I need two to pass. Yep. Bang, bang. Yeah, but it's not enough. I know. Did you roll enough dice? No. 
What is he saying? He just suffers two damage. Yeah. Oh, you said five. Hold on. Oh, did I not roll enough dice on the last test? Yeah, I didn't. But, uh, let's, yeah. I think there was only four I just picked up. Oh, yeah, because I don't know where you would have got the other one. Cause it... But did I, what was it again? What was the test? Maybe I did it wrong. It was, yeah, I thought you said five. Yules, Yules got you two. Yeah, yeah you get the... to roll one more. No, no, but maybe no, I read the wrong, I said the wrong thing. Oh, it did the results of your test. No, I know, but maybe I rolled the wrong number of dice, or I rolled the right number of dice. Oh, let's see. You only rolled four on the first test. Yeah, but did what? Oh, I should have rolled five. Yeah, it was will plus okay. one. Yeah, yeah, so you yeah. Get one I messed more. up. I messed up. So it needs to be a success yeah. here. Because when I picked up the dice, there was only four here. I just thought one had like fallen off or rolled away or whatever. No. Nothing. Okay. So that is no. That's too bad. Did you? Oh. Yeah, I'll spend two. Get okay. him up to five. Sure. Okay. Uh, continue. Although, yeah, that's fine. Yeah, you don't have rerolls or anything. I know. I just have one clue. Um, you could have done... No, it's only for a spell. Oh, it's useless. spells. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, that's my turn. We're all done. Everyone's gone? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. You could spend the last clue, but you didn't have. Because uh, you rolled a blank on that last one you rolled. Well, no, but... It, you I could so. spend the last clue. I don't think you had a clue. No, but all it was was a pass two on the last test, and I get two damage out of it. Oh, yeah, it only so did two damage, yeah. I just made two pass, uh, like two successes. A third one wouldn't have got me an extra damage. It just mm -hmm. would have been two no matter what. Yeah, unfortunately. Yeah, if on the previous roll I rolled the right amount of dice and got another success, that would have been a hit. It would have been fine. Uh, I'm pretty sure... So each investigator suffers two face down horror, but will negates. Oh, this is everyone. This is where yeah, mythos. All of us. Oh, okay, okay. Will negates uh, of four. four. Whoops. Okay, that's one for sure. <laughs> uh, I'll take a face down horror. I'm not going to spend the clue. Okay. Uh, one, two, three, four. Five, six, what, are, what is it? Two? Uh, I pass with three. Yes. All right. So now I got to do. Oh, there's no. another guy. These guys. Yeah, because like, oh, you guys Wanting did that. More? This... Well, it's, yeah, it's trying to stop me from. Yeah. Oh, it's so annoying. They're just gonna keep getting in the way. Mm -hmm. Ghost moves one space. No, I'm. He just oh, attacks you. What are you doing? The this one. Ghost is attacking me. Spirit slips his fingers into a split reality, peeling apart as invisible force rips your flesh, pulling you in. Strength. So what Buell's saying is... No, he didn't, he didn't roll. You rolled a blank. The first roll you did four rather than five, so you rolled the additional. But you didn't roll a clue on the additional. You, you rolled a blank on the additional one. Unfortunately. The first roll you did four rather than five dice, so you rolled an additional for it and got a clue, which could have been spent. Could have done additional damage. Yeah, but the fifth roll, the fifth die that you rolled was a blank. Was a blank. Yeah, I just rolled at the end there to add an extra die for the previous roll, but I rolled a blank, so I, I don't yeah. know. Unless I missed a clue on that first roll. No, you didn't. Oh, I saw a clue. Oh, maybe wishful okay. thinking. I thought I saw blank, but we can I can maybe it rewind blank. it and check it. Was blank. But yeah. I thought it, if we both thought it was blank. Yeah, yeah. I think we're okay. I think it was. All right, so I'm trying to get a pass of two with uh, three dice here for strength. Uh, yeah, no. One. Uh, silver key is on you, right? Oh, yeah, yeah, sorry, is that anyway? I can sh shove over more. Uh, if you fail, you are pulled toward the gap in reality. Move one space toward the spirit. Then each investigator in the spirit space or an additional space suffer one face down damage. What's the spirit? That's me. Oh. It's just me. Oh. Sucks. Continue. All right, the haunting horror. Oh, Matt checked. Oh. It was blank. Okay. Yeah. Okay, perfect. Uh, the haunting horror moves three spaces towards the investigator within range. Oh, and with then the most was... items, then attacks an investigator. Buell says he looked back and no, it was a clue. He looked at the wrong thing. But maybe it was. Maybe he bumped and I'm. No. It was. No, he dropped it and it was a blank. <laughs> I don't know. It landed like Matt right saw blank. Here. Buell saw a clue. Well, Matt can do it on it. Yeah, I, do it uh, it's harder to see on there, but <laughs> we do have uh... live footage, so we can. <laughs> Oh, whoops. I need to go to my channel. Because we 
all had disappointment in our faces. I know, that's what <laughs> I thought too. Uh, oh, oh. Uh, it's mute. It's not showing up there yet. That was a while back. <laughs> There's yeah, your roll. Yeah. There's your roll. That was the first roll. Or the second roll. Whoops. Let's go back just a tad more. Yeah, so this is where I'm rolling. So we see the will plus one where I should have rolled five. I said five. I obviously didn't pick up five. I pick up four, and then I go to roll. I didn't even look down to see that I was picking up the right amount of dice. <laughs> and you had two. I had two, a blank, and, and a, a clue. clue. Okay, and I think you spend a clue. And I do spend a clue. Yeah, you spent one on the first, two on the second. Yep, one clue. So that gets me three damage because it's a test result at this point. Yep. And then we fast forward. Well, Here you right. go, you're going to roll. Yep, yep. So now I'm looking. I need a two to pass. And if I pass, they suffer two damage. That's it, period. Okay. Two clues so you spend. There is the two clues I spend to pass, and I have two blanks. Yeah, and your your next die lands like right yeah, there. Yeah, it's not this die. It's, it's the one that goes be, beside yeah. it. This is what would confuse Buell. I saw this. <laughs> <laughs> but even so, oh, I guess if it was a clue on that last one, yeah, that would make a huge difference. Yeah. So yeah, then I realized like, wait, yeah, I only rolled the four dice I picked up. Let me roll another die. Guess the spot. I think it's like. It's like right here. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's, right there. it's like right here. Maybe it bumps slightly. One Roll the die, Rob. Roll the die. <laughs> no, you got to look the log first. No, you can do it. Oh, yeah. Yeah, we got to check that we're right. <laughs> How do I just go right? It's like a double click. Or is it only on tablet? Oh, man, just leave it. It's, it's gonna, okay. It's, it's only a second. You're going to go past it. Matt says we're looking at the instant replay here. Yep. Going to the instant replay. Let's see what our judges say. We're on the instant replay truck. Here we go. Oh, oh it I does see why. Kind of. It, yeah, I see why you think it's a clue because the angle. Yeah, but, but it, it was definitely a blank. was not. It was a blank because I remember I cleared it off right away and was like, oh, that sucks. Yeah, it was a blank. And then defeat in all of our faces. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you want to switch us back? Oh. What are you? Oh. Oh, we're going oh, to slow it down. Here we go. <laughs> Roll. No. <laughs> <laughs> so, oh, yeah, cause the red it's because the yeah. angle of yeah. the eight-sided the, the die. Red, the red does blend in with the red. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and then you quickly remove it. Yeah, yeah. It's like when the goalie in hockey, like, Tries to pull the puck out of the net before it crosses the goal line, and they're like trying to see if it like did cross it all before he pulled it back out. I like quickly rolled it and then swept it away yeah. before anyone could see what the result was. Oh, that's funny. Fuel loses a timeout. <laughs> <laughs> yes. All right. Okay, that was fun. That was cool. <laughs> <laughs> so that it's is. Still is attacking you. No, the haunting horror. Is no, the it's, same. it's Kyle. So you're beside it. Why would he go to? It'll Rob? move three spaces towards the investigator within range, with the most items. No one is in with range. You no one is in within range. range. No yeah. one is within range. Why not? Because it's through a door. But range can't be walls. calculated. It goes through walls. Not that guy. Not that it's the haunted oh, Read the bottom. Oh. Flying. flying. This Doesn't monster matter. can move through impassable borders. Yes. I we're still doing the ghost. Uh, so nobody's move in within range. No one's three in range. Three spaces towards the investigator. That door so no investigators are within range. Is that a correct statement? Because he's on the other side of a uh, wall with a closed door. I think yeah. No correct. Within range. Yeah. Yeah. The creature opens its mouth and breathes in. Breathes in, tasting the air, catching the scent of prey. The creature shrieks and slithers through the air. The haunting horror moves three spaces toward the nearest investigator. There you go. Each yeah. investigator must resolve a horror check against the monster within range with the highest horror rating. After blah 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 blah. Okay, I'll do mine first. Confirm. Do it against the ghost. Uh, suffer two horror, but will negates. I'm gonna roll for four. Uh, you got one. I do have one. 
Yeah, I will negate a horror, because I don't want to start flipping up all my damage, and then the damage flips up another damage, and then the damage flips up a horror, and then another horror flips up a damage. <laughs> then take an additional damage, and discard this one, and take another damage, and the domino effect begins. Alright, Kyle is going to uh, do a horror check. Suffer three horror, but your will negates. Let's roll three dice, my friend. Try to stop three horror. You just need three successes, and you're good. You could spend two clo clo clues. Spend one. You can spend one. All so right. So one, one face horror. up horror. There you go. Read it and tell us what it does. Ooh. Drop two random items, then flip this card face down. Okay, not your spell. Yeah, spell You're goes gonna... there. Oh, you just roll even... a die. Just roll a die. Here, oh, D6. I want to do it like... Yeah, but they're different yeah, but backs. Just... I'm not looking. Oh. <laughs> okay. Okay, fine. Oh. Um... To, uh, it's just no, easier, lay them less out messy. And then do them, like... It's just quicker. Yeah, yeah. Oh, okay, you we'll just do don't it this way know? so I don't see. <laughs> There's got to be some mystery here. So, so one, one through two, four. Three, four. Yeah, just yeah. do one through four and roll to get a four. One. one. You don't need the key anyway, so... Oh, the thing oh. you need to escape from this dude. Yep. This guy, right? But uh, drop it or discard it? Just drop it. Drop it in the space. Drop, drop. drop it like it's hot. Okay. All right. Um... Should I go first and pick up the idol? Yes, please. Okay, I will do that. Start to get it to the damn floorboards. Yeah, because I, I know think... we're no near near, near no, the floorboards. I can't remember if it's when I pick up the idol. That's it's when it spawns that guy. But either way, you gotta get. Yeah, it doesn't. Range, range doesn't go through doors. So when he moved to the closest investigator within. Yeah, range. you're the closest. No, no, no. He didn't no, move no. within range. He, he just said closest. There was no one within range. Yeah. Then after that, it says just move him to the nearest investigator. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. It's like okay, no one's in range. Get him in range. I see. Okay, let's... I know. If I could get him to come to me, Kyle, I would have done it. But Or at least down the hallway, <laughs> out of your way. You're fine now, because you're just waiting for I know, me to you're really doing nothing. Itself. One of us just needs to get to the floorboards yeah, to grab Mel's thing and run it down. Yeah. Let's okay, so exploring here. Uh, okay. Lady Helena said her family's ancient statuette could be found here. Search. You rifle through the desk, and sure enough, your hand closes on a small stone statue. Gain the grotesque stone unique item. Now you only need to get it to your companions. Discard the search token. Okay, now does this spawn the guy? Yeah. Oh, but it's not a, as bad of a guy, maybe. Uh, the portal in the lobby briefly flares open, and Lady Elizabeth's head leans through. I don't suppose you just hand over the artifact to me. Well, I need to go back further this time. Please enjoy this parting gift from your future queen. Spawn a dark young, as indicated. What the heck is a dark young? Dark young. Is that what we had before? No, we had a spawn, star spawn or something. Oh. We had this guy, star spawn, which is probably because we were doing really oh, bad. Oh, maybe we have his, like, um, his son. What is a dark young? Please be Is it big? Is it little? Shotgun. I don't know. I don't know. What the heck does that look like? It looks like a spider. Hmm. Yeah, that's it's got something. Multiple arms or multiple and heads. multiple faces. Oh, is it this thing that's missing? Yes, it is. Oh, it's a big boy. Man. It's a big boy. Is he bigger than the We've other guy? We've played that guy before. Yeah, right? this guy's falling out of yeah. this thing. Oh my god. <laughs> Look at his hair, man. It looks like Kyle's hair. <laughs> Just kidding. Yeah. It's COVID cut. All right. Yeah, let's see. <laughs> Just kidding. All right. Uh, doesn't have any special abilities. He has five brawn. Four okay. uh, and a seven yeah. on the top. I think he's the only means. guy I'm worrying about. So he's going to go right in the space I want to go. <sighs> he's just so, broke the floorboards. Oh, he that, fell through the floor. I said discard this, but I wasn't. Mm -hmm. I didn't. Probably. Oh, it, yeah. Okay. Yeah, let's go. Okay. So that was action one. I have. Mel, run! Exactly. Second action. Can you actually just tell me the strength of this guy? Oh, yeah. That's a good thing to know. 15. Oh, he's cute. <laughs> 22. 20, 20 only. 20 is not okay, bad with a six have, shotgun. I have the shotgun this time. So let's do my second action to move. I need to get in that space. Mm -hmm. One, two, and then she has an extra additional move. I will do that You're to get go in. right in the space with Yeah, her? because... Oh, oh, my God. I don't want to have to keep trying to evade to get out. I'd rather just either be, just kill him or try to evade to put the thing in. Okay. Or I just kill yeah, him yeah, yeah. and stand there. I don't know. Okay. Do you, do you have to evade the Put the thing in the floor. Well, yeah, do any other action, action but yeah. attack. Oh. You have to do an evade check, and if you fail, you lose your action. You get hurt sometimes. Mm. Oh, can I do? Th yeah, I can. <laughs> I can do this from the same. Yeah, yeah. All right. Okay. Uh, now that what? was me done. Uh, so I'm gonna try to shoot a ghost in the face, or yeah. Kyle, do you want to shoot a thing in the face? What do you want to do? We gotta shoot something. Oh, get rid of your ghost, Afiri. Yeah, he's one away. I'm not afraid of no ghosts. 
Bow, bow, bow. Attack with a firearm still, I guess. Can I attack him with candles? Is that better against ghosts? <laughs> you can fist, uh, punch him with your fists. Yeah, that's true, but I think that will go right through him just like a bullet will. <laughs> attack with a firearm. Bullets will be useless, you presume. So you fire at anything but the spirit, hoping to hit one of the fetters or something that it will hurt. Uh, rolling a lore of four. Looking for a two to pass. If you pass, suffers damage equal to your test plus one. And you only need one, right? Uh, no, I fail still. This is stupid. I don't have any clues. They're all gone. None of us do. Yeah. yeah. We have no clues. No clue. All right. Well, I'll attack I again. Something that lets you re-roll or... Nope. Only with a spell. Oh, I the... don't have a spell. Dang it. You need to drop a spell through the floor. All right. Well, I'm trying. But it's too late. It's too late. I'm going to die to this guy. Firearm again. This time rolling four dice again. Looking for two to pass. <laughs> Yes! I got it, you all got right, it. You I got, got it. it, yes, all right, woo! If you pass, you stare down the creature and blah, 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 suffers damage, you could test result, I don't care. It's plus one, and we're good. Get rid of this ghost. <laughs> it's just going to make another monster spawn, and the space Kyle's going to try to move into next. Yeah, those, yep. are, those are, those are That's what's annoying, like... Or one that you're going to spawn, like, it'll be here, and oh then you won't be able to retrieve. <laughs> that's, okay, you have time, I have go. to... By the way, the Dark Young looks like Kang plus Kodus after Tilper. I don't know who those guys are. Not sure. Not sure. All right. Um, now, Kyle? Yep. You're just going to fight your guy? Wait. Oh, yeah, you did both. Yeah. Yeah, I'm done. Yeah, I'm just going to fight this guy with a heavy weapon. Heavy weapon. Also, He's I guess got five right. health only. Uh, so you're doing uh, observation. Mm -hmm. Looking for a two to pass. If you pass... Uh, you got three. The monster suffers damage equal to the weapon plus your test result. Is that five? Yep. Uh, yes, it is five. Oh, oh another one shot. Wow, yeah. look at that. Love it. There you go, That this thing is dead. Love I feel like it. I should get something every time I do that. Drop a coin, <laughs> drop a coin. You should get something. What Drop would you like? Coin. What would yeah. you like for that? Some clues, please. All right, now. Uh, that? I can still have another action. That was okay. one one. What would you like to do? Get in place? Mm -hmm. No, no, no. No, you gotta get no, to the door. No, 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 Kyle, wrong way. Oh, wait, can I even talk to her? I know. Don't worry about talking to her. You need to get the idol to her. We know Yeah, this. you need to get to the uh, floor. Just go get to the floorboards and wait for Mel to, uh, it's wait for here something. Here and look at this dagger. Okay. Son of a bitch. Drop this one. clue. Okay. Yeah, true, actually. Clue might be good. Yeah, but a monster could appear, and wouldn't you rather but be in a place? a monster could appear here. But at least you're there. No, they keep spawning here. Remember, it kept happening over and over again. That's oh, yeah. the spawn point. But that's why they put the thing here. That's why they put a thing here. To Oh, to do a run around the corner. Yo, you could put this right there. Not now. Next turn. Where were you? I was here. Oh, okay. Two, yeah, yeah, next turn. Yeah, if you, you put a barricade, you could trap the monster and then do like a run around that would only take one, two, three, four spaces. That's too. Yeah. It, or, it is a thing. Unless it's a ghost. But. Yeah, or you wait and see because if it's like a weenie monster, we'll it doesn't matter. We will see. What's next? That's the end. That's of, the end of that yeah, phase. Yeah, that's oh, the end of this. No. Yeah, I'm in trouble. Oh, no. Mel, don't die. You have nine health, so... I have nothing. I'm fresh, so... Your hand suddenly begins to burn. The Smithville's event affects the investigator as a light source. Oh, that's you. You're gonna die. Yeah. I'll take it. All right. Oh, the fire from your light has spread to your hand. You instantly drop what you're holding. Clutch your wounded hand. Suffer two face-down damage. Oh, oh no. So that's gonna, that's gonna wound it? me. That's gonna wound me. Uh, and then drop one... Random light source. Okay, here's my random light source I dropped. Dang, we Damn. never should have picked up those yeah. candles. They're all a trick. The items are all a trick in this scenario. Don't get greedy. Don't I got greedy. Candles. Before you realize the fire is spread all around you, place fire in your space and an adjacent space. Go ahead, drop fire in the room with me. So not only am I going to be wounded now, so these all get discarded. They're all face down, right? Yeah. Oh, yeah, they're all face down damage. Wow, that's so weird. Yeah, uh, so, so I'll throw those on the down, bottom. Drop an item for you. Yeah. Sucks. And then I'm going to be wounded. You cannot perform the move action more than once each round. So I'm not the one who should be grabbing stuff from the floorboards. That's for sure. Well, I'm waiting. When you have yeah. suffered damage equal to your health, you are eliminated. Sorry, there's a big, ugly monster standing on my floorboard that I prepared. So dumb. Waiting. Why did I pick up the candles? The candles are going to end us. Because <laughs> I picked up the candles. I was like, I have an action. I'm standing here with candles. I feel like I, feel like I kind of also The dark down moves one space toward the nearest investigator, then attacks each investigator in the space or adjacent spaces. This adjacency can be counted through walls. Wow. So it's going to attack you. Yep. 
I knew that was Creature stamps happen. the ground with his black hooves, shaking the surroundings. Agility. You're looking for two to pass. I roll four. Nice. I got none, so I fail. If you fail, the ground buckles under you, and you fall to your knees. Suffer two damage, then become dazed. Here it starts. All right. So while you're down there, just put the thing in the floorboard. So right. dazed. You cannot spend clues to convert dice results or perform additional puzzle steps at the end of your turn. All good. This I have no clues. Okay, so first one is back spasms. Resolve immediately. Drop one random item, the then flip this card face down. <gasps> If I lose the shotgun. the shotgun, so this is not an item. So please roll a die. Pick your numbers. Do whatever you gotta do. Let's just do this quick. Let's not. Let's not stress. Let's just do it. Yeah, but if and then I... we'll stress if it drops. So one, two, three, four. Yeah. Two. All right. So, okay. We, drop we don't the need silver the silver key. key. Great. Okay. Silver key is now in that space. Oh. Done. All right. Oh Move my on. god. Sorry. I got another one. Okay. Uh, resolve immediately. Suffer one additional face down horror. Then flip this card face down. Uh, I'll flip face down and one additional face down horror. <laughs> And then flip the card face down. Okay. Good. Oops. Uh, horror it's, check is me. Yeah. The creature goes quiet all at once, but to your astonishment, begins violently attacking itself. Oh. Agility. You need three to pass. I roll four. This is not gonna happen. Not gonna happen. Zero. Uh, if you fail, you're caught by one of the thing's flailing limbs, suffer two... This is why you shouldn't have been in space with him already. What would be the difference, though? He you would... could shoot him from an adjacent space because you're carrying a shotgun. So you could have stayed in this room, he could have just moved one, and then you could... I don't know, I guess he would have been here, so you couldn't really shoot him with a shotgun from range, but... Yeah, and then I would have to try to move through him. Yeah, that's true. And then become stunned. What is stunned again? Oh, man. I don't know. All those are insane. It's not good. You know... I think it's one action, right? Yeah, probably. Uh, you cannot perform more than a single action during yeah. your turn. Okay. Yeah. I can try one evade and... I don't know. Mm. Or just do one shot yeah, you at him. Just shoot him. I, think. I don't know, though. That'll take, like, four turns. If you're lucky, you can even pass on those rolls. She has no clues. So she needs to get, like, successes. Will they do the weapons damage? Will they do test result? Yeah, Will the evade right now? Like, is she even going to be able to do I don't know, because remember last time, so. the first time I tried to evade, That's it was like, she you might get well just fire a shot, because she won't be able to evade. When you discard horror or damage cards, you should shuffle them into the deck, not put them on the bottom. Oh. Is that how this game works, too? I don't know. I know We've that's always how Lord just of the put Rings them on the works. bottom, but maybe yeah, we should be shuffling them. Yeah, I know that's how Lord of the Rings them. works, but... Did you put some in here? Yeah, just Okay, I'll shuffle them. Yeah, I think you might be right. Yeah, I think Lord yeah. of Rings does okay. that too. Which is annoying because you'll wear out your components and FFG wants to just sell more sleeves. <laughs> but uh, yeah, we can do it however we want. But yeah. it's just annoying. Yeah. Uh, evade, yes. Waste of time. Yeah, I think I might try and evade. If I get it and it's successful, then I can put the stuff in the floorboard and worry about this while you guys wor work on it on your end. I only have one action anyways. Yeah, but remember that last time, the first evade on a big monster guy like this is just like, sorry, bro. Thanks for trying. Oh, could possibly memorize the order of no shuffle. Could. Maybe. Not us, because we can't, even, re cards? We can't even remember. Yeah. If you're trying to game the system like that, like, that's kind of sad. You know what's funny? I can't even remember the character I played last week. I know. <laughs> I was like, who the heck? Yeah, I yeah. don't even know. If all even I did if... was play Mage of the Madness, like... Yeah, nine hours I, a day every day maybe yeah, I'd be like yeah. that but I, I don't but I do understand how if yeah. you discarded them you could put the ones that do no damage or anything on the top of the pile that but you, you wouldn't discard. know because it, it's like random right or like I just discarded well, a whole pile I never even saw even if I was flipping yeah, true, and face true, down true, like, true. that's why you just you just get rid of all face down it's like you shouldn't remember what it is right yeah that's true do you even evade bro yeah I don't, I don't know, you know if do. I do um you know what like what do you have to roll to evade? I don't know. You don't know. It'll tell It'll you. It'll tell me. If that's anything. the problem. And then even though you might evade, you still might get hit with horror and damage and yeah, stuff. Yeah, I'm like shotguns is a sure bet, right? You may do shotgun damage plus like two or three on your thing. It might you might kill him in two shots or three. I shots. could do I could do one attack because I am stunned, so I'm only gonna get one shot or one action. Mm-hmm. So maybe I do just do the shotgun. Oh, yeah, you do have this, too. Yeah, but it's an action. I gotta... I know, not right now, not but... Not right now. Um, so you could last the long haul with this guy. Potentially. Um, so yeah, actually, let's just use my action. Just use a shotgun. 
An attack to go with the firearm? Yeah. And then I'll try to evade maybe next turn. Maybe if he's weaker, it's easier to evade him. I don't know. I don't know. You move cautiously, careful not to make noise or alert the creature to your intentions. Agility, you need a two to pass. If you pass, you sneak into firing position and shoot the beast before it notices. The monster suffers damage equal to the weapon's damage. That's okay, all. so I need two to pass that is all. of four. I got it. Yes, I nice. got it. Okay, so it's six. Hit six. Okay. But that's my only action. Those okay. are going to go away. Great. Yeah, you'll just get more stuff back yeah, every time. I know. <laughs> He's going to hit you and then horror check you. Hit but you that's okay. Check. Maybe if I can slow and steady and just... There is no slow. Slow, you lose. Yeah, you're right. You're right. Uh, all right. Next. What's happening here? We're oh, free. wait. Did we spread fire? We didn't tell it that it was on fire. It knows it's on fire. It gave us fire. Oh, okay. It so it wasn't us. yet. Okay. That happened in the Oh, that happened space. in the yeah, yeah. Oh, okay, okay, okay. So it's up to you guys what you guys want to do. Kyle's just kind of waiting for you me. You care about the, well, I mean, care about the fire. I mean, I got the fire extinguisher. I can move. What does the fire extinguisher say? Uh, it's an action. Discard all fire in your space and adjacent spaces. So, I mean, I can, I can move in and then just yeah. do that. That's true. Then he won't suffer damage. Yeah. And well, I won't suffer damage anyway. if I just move out. But then it's going to spread. I know. And then yeah, yeah, yeah. stay yeah. here. So, I mean, I might as well... Go, go ahead. Yeah, go They first. gave us the fire extinguisher One, for a reason. Two, and then yeah, in case action, I play with candles. Discard all fire in my space and adjacent spaces. Okay, okay there out. you go. Uh, all right. And then what would you like to do? I will just move to the blue token waiting for your stuff to come through, I guess. Okay. And assuming a monster will appear there. Actually, what do you want? To... I don't think I have enough actions to do that. No, One, you don't. One, two... You don't. Yeah. I'll just stay there. Yeah, it's a problem. It's going to be a monster up here. You can go here. I don't know. You can go in the other room. Yeah, you can go here. Or, well, don't yeah. go there, but you could go in this one and then just come back out. Yeah, here, here, here. Sure, put me in that a further room. Yep. This one? Yeah, yep. Because then you wouldn't be in range if it does get in that room. Neither of you would be in r within range. All right, we're done? Yep. Let's see how bad Mel gets oh, beaten here. Right, yeah. This feels very similar to last time. Mm -hmm. Except for we're not trapped with monsters. Uh, nope, fire was extinguished. Boards creak and windows shatter slam. Light flickers strangely outside. This mythical event affects each investigator in the lounge, which should be nobody. Nobody. No effect. The dark young moves one space toward the nearest investigator. Oh, you only move one space because you're wounded. Oh, yes, that's right. Sorry, Sorry, thank you. So you only move, what does it say? Like one space. So is that what Jim's like no means? No, that was no, me because he wanted oh, me to okay. evade. <laughs> uh, oh, I see. It's yeah. one space or just... It's one space no, or one uh, movement? I can only perform one uh, the move action. Uh, I can't move, do it more than once each round. So do you want to be here with Kyle? Or no, no. One out. One out. Okay. Yeah, okay. Yeah. I won't be the one to carry the thing to her, but like, whatever. Yeah. Thanks, Matt. Uh, what what yes. did you have for the spells again? He doesn't have spells. Nothing anymore. I dropped the candle. Oh, candle's gone, bro. Oh, yeah, candle's good. gone. I'm not touching it anymore. Should we grab it? No. <laughs> no. It's bad. Bad things. Okay. Sorry. This guy so is... So it's going to attack you. Yep. Already there. So you're looking for strength. Okay, my strength is five. If you pass, you'll still suffer a face down damage. Great. I have two. I pass. So suffer a face down damage. Okay, I'll take a face down versus four. Yeah, I know. Four regular damage. That's craziness. Okay. Four check. Four okay, check. come on. Yeah. Something good. And it's, uh, so you're looking for a lore oh, of my God. three. No. Um, Three horror. One at a time. Oh, face up. Do I negate? It's not... A, yeah. Nope. If you fail, you're oh. consumed by conviction. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. uh, suffer three horror. All right. One, two, Candle's three. Candle's been put out. These are face up. Yeah. Uh, minor shock. Resolve immediately. No additional effect. Flip this card face down. Flashback. Resolve immediately. Flip one other horror face up, then discard this card. Okay. Uh, suffer one additional face down horror for each spell you have. So one. Uh, then flip this card face down. So that gets face down. This one then gets discarded. We'll shuffle that in in a second. And face down. One was face down that you just got. Whatever that card oh. said it was face down. Face down horror. Okay. So that's face that. down horror. Then uh, minor shock again. No additional effect. Flip this card face down. Okay. So one away. Great. Oh, one, that's two, not three, good. Four. One away from becoming yeah, insane. See, this is where it ends her every time. That's why I never play her anymore. Well, I thought that it's I like would her have. Yeah. 
I know. I thought it would just be fight, fight, yeah. you have a shotgun, and you'd win. But that's but okay. That's like okay. You're, we're... you're in the space, so it's like nothing you can do about that. But I didn't get any conditions. True, yeah. So I have two actions. So you could go crazy and just try to, to kill him. He's at, what, 14? But even two shotguns That's only 12, only but 12 you're looking for unless... a test result plus one, maybe, or plus your res uh, weapon damage plus test result, or... Yeah, weapon damage plus test result. You can just try the double evade check, but you're gonna get. I guarantee on the yeah. evade check, it's first one's gonna fail. Second one is gonna. You're gonna maybe fail, or it's just gonna. Even if you pass, you'll get some damage or horror. I, I don't know. That's just what I think. Yeah, this is like. But Jim's saying evade. I'll be okay if you evade, but I, we just know after the big scary monster last time. Every every scenario we have a big monster, we try to do an evade. It's not a clean evade. You don't just get like, oh, you pass. Go yeah. ahead, have fun. Well, last time it was like you can't evade. Yeah, yeah, yeah exactly. Point. But you can try. Maybe, maybe you'll. This guy's not as bad as the star spawn. Maybe. Right. But is he rated the exact same no. as the? Oh, uh, the other guy was he's five. He's a four seven. He was five. This something. guy is a five eight. So this maybe guy's this guy's easier. a little easier to evade. I forget which one's the evade check. But I have no the bottom, isn't is it? Is it the bottom? I don't know. One of them's the awareness or something. I don't know. Hmm. The, the app knows. This is this is this is tough. Like I feel like this is a huge decision, and, and if it's wrong, it could tank the playthrough again. Because it'll all come down to the dice roll, and I have no clues. <coughs> oh. Welcome to Mansion of Madness, or yeah. any it's game with skill checks. Possible. I'm trying to think, like, was there stuff that we could have passed now that would have helped her? You guys can't battle? put stuff on your side. Oh yeah, you can't go back, so there's nothing. Yeah, there's nothing no, you could have done. There's just... there's those moments where you have a wall of clues and you decide to spend like two or three of them at once for something that like just to get a lock open one turn early or to uh, read a book one turn faster than if you waited. Those moments, and I say it every time, it's like you just get willy nilly with clues early game. And you have none at the end of the game. If you yeah. can kill him with three actions, it should still be okay. Okay, well, but... okay, let's try one evade and see what happens. You I know you can't know, know the, the right, right choice. choice. I know, and I don't know that this is the right choice, but we're going to try one All evade. Right. One evade. Yeah. You can just regret the battle. Solve an evade check? Yes. Oh, here you go. The creature blocks every avenue of escape with its immense bulk. Agility, if you get two, you pass. You snatch the first opportunity to dash out of reach. If you fail, you're buffered, buffeted, buffeted by the flailing limbs and you try to escape, suffer two damage and become dazed, ooh. Okay, so I roll four yeah, die. you might roll badly anyway on either thing I know, you do. That's exactly. the problem. Nope, I fail. Hmm. Oh my god, okay. So suffer two damage, one at a time, face up, read it two out. Two damage. Resolve immediately, no additional effect, discard this card. Oh. Discard this card. Sorry. And then, oh, every single game I play of Mansions of Madness, I have, a broken, your weapons but two. I have a broken arm. There's probably like four of those cards in if there. If you ever have more than two items, drop all but two of your items. Well, I'm going to keep my shotgun and I'm going to keep yeah, the, drop the lead pipe. yeah, Come. we're going to drop the lead pipe. Okay. And then I become dazed. Yep. Uh, you cannot... Okay. Oh, but it doesn't say forfeit your action. Oh. It doesn't say oh, forfeit your action. you're right. Right? You're right. Yeah, you're you right. try to escape, you just get hit, but you still get away. Okay, so then let's put... Okay, so... Man, I bought first edition of this game when it was released. Did not like it because someone had to be the bad guy. Second edition fixed that. <laughs> yeah, it's it's you want to smash your tablet. <laughs> Second edition. Yeah. You want to just punch your computer monitor in the in the right in the screen, just just in the center. Yeah, but you are right. It doesn't say forfeit your action like all the other ones do. All right, so uh, let me try to drop hit. the statue. Yep, we're gonna drop, drop the statue. We're gonna drop it in the. All right, go go do what you're doing. Yeah, uh, so, so that's we you. go back, right? Yep, I'm done here. So that's me. No, no, you have to click on the thing for me. Okay. To drop the statue in. One of the floorboards, blah, blah, blah. Action, okay. you're going to hide something. Yeah. You pry the floorboard up with relative ease. Really in a good hiding place beneath. You may set aside your possessions. A possession is any component that can be dropped, picked up, or traded. To set aside a possession, place it near the play area. Possessions you set aside are no longer yours. Okay. So I will use my second action to shoot him. Yep. And let's see if I can 
Yep, that's only one action. So we've got another one here. We're going to fire with our shotgun firearm. All right, look for agility to pass. So agility. If you pass, he suffers damage equal to weapons damage plus the test result. Okay, agility of four. Uh, I got it, I got it, I got it. Two. So if that's Did you eight. get it? I got it. All right. Sorry. Uh, so it's eight total going up to 14. Okay. You only need six more. That's just a straight shotgun blast. Okay, but at this point, if I... It's fine. Well, potentially. I don't know if you try to tank your playthrough by putting bags of burning poop in the floorboards for us <laughs> instead of statue idols, then we have trouble. <laughs> ah, gotcha, guys. I've gone insane. Okay, that was me done. <laughs> Somebody pick it up. All right. What's next? Well, Rob can do it. I or can do. only move once a turn. I'm not the guy who needs yeah, to be running it past the Yeah, you need to get it there first, so you could move. I and say then you, pick Kyle, because you have full movement of your legs. Round. Your full movement of your legs. Right, I have so a broken arm. One, he has a broken leg. Two. <laughs> I'll pick it up. Okay, uh, he's picking up the... Not Rob. Yes. <laughs> Let's see, no. You lift one of the loose floorboards, hoping to find something beneath. You may claim any set-aside possessions and place them in your play area. There are no set-aside possessions, no immediate effect. Okay, give him the idol. Okay. Let's see if I can survive. Mm, one, two, three, Rob's four, five, six. Though. What are you, you going to oh, do? Oh, yeah. You can move you on. I'm going to move and put a barricade. Yeah, that's what I was saying. Oh, okay. Where? where? One? Where yeah, right on that door. Yeah. This one? Yeah, sure. Can you guys move through the barricade? No, mm. I don't think so. Oh, you guys are going to go but around we can go it? around. Even yeah. though it's more spaces and it's longer, but if an enemy's there, it will have to pass a check to get in our space, and we don't need to be in that situation again where it's like, whoa, we're trying to evade and get out of there. Is this like the first time we've used the barricade? Is this... Mm. No, I don't think so, but we'll see if the monster is... But it may be the first time we've done it correctly. We'll see. We'll see. <laughs> if a monster spawns there. Rob, go into summon room. Oh, it's just distract? How, yeah, but don't, you, don't you both with, have to... No, can Kyle get there with one? Yeah. Oh, maybe one, I should two. get to her instead. Yeah, that's what I'm... Yeah, well, you can't sorry. Move. No barricade. Yeah, put me closer to her. If yeah. I need to be at the space... You, you can't move there right now. Yeah, he can move here because he was space. only right here. Yeah, one more space. So are you the girl? Yeah, you're the yeah, girl. Yeah, move me down one. Who's here? Yeah, one, one two. Two. Yeah. Yeah, because if I need to get there, like... And this way, even if a monster comes with me, I can mess with it. and But it, I'll probably still die. But we're getting trouble. We'll see. All right. And is oh, that, I'm the end of my turn. Days one way. Everybody done? Yep. Let's see. A monster's going to spawn in that space for sure. Corridor in front of you twists and stretches on forever. It is impossibly long. Impossible. Each investigator in a hall or alley. <laughs> Did you just get out of the hallway? I just no, dodged didn't. the hallway. Am I in a hallway? <laughs> I'm in a hallway. Yeah, you're in a hall. Yeah. Yeah. Dang it. Right. So suffer two horror, but will negates. Roll a will die. No, go ahead. I got dice over here. So you got it. Four. Yep. Okay. I was just making sure. And I Kyle got it. Okay. All right. Perfect. Yeah. Sweet rolls. All right. Monster attacks. Yeah. Strength. Uh, strength. Looking One, for two. two. Three. Four. Five. You're Ooh. gonna suffer face down or four face up. Uh, two. I got it. Yeah. So one face down damage. What's this? That's when I have to shuffle in. Yeah. But you could have just drawn that then if you had to shuffle okay. in. Okay. So shuffle. Yes. Just do a quick whatever. Like, it just don't wreck the card. That's the problem. See, the cards are going to get all, like, worn out doing shuffles. I, okay. I think I might rule against that. Okay. One, two, three, four, Unless I put five, sleeves six, on all seven. this stuff. Okay. Still good. That, still good. Dumb. Okay. Just so many scenarios we have to go. I don't want all the cards to have, like, rough edges and be all worn yeah. out. These, then these that's cards also are how you can know. Yeah. Uh, okay. So I pass that. Okay. Now let's do the horror Great. check. Great. See if I pass that. Hello, Kanji. Hello. Each investigator must resolve a horror check against the monster within range with the highest horror rating. After all horror checks have been done, blah, this is the usual stuff. You didn't put a monster in your room. Nope, not yet. It might do it still at the end, right? Oh. Or does it do it before? I usually? thought it does it before. Yeah, that's before. Yeah. Uh, so suffer three horror. Uh, we'll minus, we'll so you're going to roll three so dice. Three dice. Oh, let's take these ones. These ones are better. I'm going to wore out the luck uh, one. two, three. You know, so much of luck rolling magic. One. So I negate one two horror. horror. So two horror. Please go away or else I'm going to go insane. Keep face up. Whenever you end your turn in a space with another investigator, take one item at random from that investigator. Doesn't seem like that'll be a problem no, right now. No. No. 
Roll one fewer die while resolving a lore test. Okay, so. so one, two, three, four, five, six out of five. I'm insane. We will discard these. I will shuffle these in. And I will become insane. All right, pick it. Kyle and I will look away and you can show the chat what you just got for your insanity. You're looking away? Okay. And let us know when we can look. Well, I'm not looking at that. <laughs> Come on. Sorry, it's not focusing. Let's try that again. Oh, and then it focuses as soon as I moved it. There we go. Please no spoilers in the chat. Okay. Good. Good. And then I only have these two. So I gotta roll, roll one fewer. So you get three more and you're done and we have one turn left. Correct. Today. But we don't need you anymore. But I might, with two actions, be able to get rid of this guy. We might be able to come back through the portal and help you fight this guy. I bet that's what, if we did things properly, that's how it would work. Well, you guys go to the portal first, then. Yeah. Drop the thing off first, because see Let's if that's the that. thing. We can't trust you anymore. <laughs> Shut up! That's what we gotta do. <laughs> Just do it. All right. Uh, so you guys go first. Kyle, go first and run the thing through to the, the yeah. lady. All right. One, two, and... Let's see if that's an action. Welcome my shoe. Okay. Each investigator must resolve a horror check against the monster within range with the highest horror rating. After all horror checks have been resolved. What? That popped up when I clicked the lady. It's obviously a bug. Let's try that again. Oh my god. Oh no. Oh, am I not? Did I not click done? Oh. oh. Wow. <laughs> okay. That's what happens when you randomly click on the screen. It just tells you, do your horror checks. All right, let's try that again. <laughs> yeah, all this was red, and I was looking at it like, that doesn't look right. Quickly, bring me the statue. Each investigator within with the grotesque, sorry, an investigator with the grotesque stone, unique item, may give it to Lady Helena. Give it to Lady Helena. The moment the statue touches Lady Helena's hand, it crackles with power. She holds it aloft, and the portal crackles in response. All right, we're going home. I'm going to reopen this portal, and then you'll all need to get through. I'll follow and close this portal once once and for all after. Lady Helena chants low, and under her breath, the portal grows wider once more. So do we just need to... So you to... have one more action, so can you click on do this I? portal? Yeah, because uh, you only moved. Oh, oh that was, was one, the search. Two, Never mind. Yeah, 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 yeah. Giving her was yeah. an action. Yeah, and then so go done. through the portal. The portal's action. wide. You must go through the portal to get back. I'm afraid it'll be a bumpy ride. So oh. go through the portals in action. Okay. Does this bumpy mean we lose stuff? You Hopefully could come not. through the portal. So you're done, Kyle. You've done two actions, I've right? I've done two actions. Okay, so I'm going to just move and click and do that. Would you want this or no? Or, I don't know. No, I don't, why? Do what? I don't know. Evade. What? What did you say? What did you want? What was this one again? He's talking about the items on the ground. Shut the hell up, Kyle. <laughs> no, get one? out of oh, the... You want me to get over to that <laughs> item? Yeah, yeah. Let me go wander Do around the house. Get some clues? Get out of the future. Get some clues. Look what I brought back from the future. Oh, you don't even know that you, you get through. You enter the portal and find yourself in more, uh, uh, in, once more in a kaleidoscope of light. You quickly forget which direction is forward and which direction is back. This is so <laughs> stupid. Luckily. Stop oh. making me do skill checks. This is lame. One. Okay. I don't think one That's will get not, you through the portal. Can but... I use these magnifying glasses to find where I'm going? Isn't that, isn't that helpful? No. <laughs> This is so dumb. Yeah. Well. You grow ill at the shifting color and find yourself staggering out where you began. Sorry, Lady Helena says, brace up and try again, eh? I oh, wonder if it's not even um, a cumulative result. It's you have to have a specific no, number to get through. That, because how will they know? They don't know who, if it's your turn or his turn. Oh, yeah. Oh, damn, that sucks. Yeah, so this one might be you have to, you might be so trying to roll. So we're sitting here in a, a roll luck fest. Yeah. So while you're going to be know, rolling man. off for that, I'm going to now attempt the shotgun on this guy on my turn. Will you? What am I doing? Just tell me. Shotgun on this guy. You want me to click the monster, bring him up, and attack him with a firearm? Yeah. Okay. I was Sorry. just thinking. You were stuck I didn't know you were portal. talking to me. You are stuck in the portal, man. Yeah, I'm just thinking like... It, start, it starts like, yeah, I just, I'm not going to go off, but, uh, all right. Agility, looking for two. Agility, four. Looking for two. I fail. Uh, yeah. The shot misses. Okay. I'll try again. Last action. 
Oh, so we have to go back and kill this? Is that... Well, unless... Oh, my God. I don't know, it's roaming around the house that was in the start of the scenario, remember? Like, this is the main thing. Yeah, yeah, we yeah, just yeah. went, like, in the future, we had to come back. All right, I'm looking for Will of two. two. I have Will of four. I got it. Uh, Equal to the weapon's damage. Six. Dead. Confirmed. There we go, I took him out. Drop the treasure chest. I know, right? There you go. Oh, sweet Okay, deal. so that was both my turns. That's everybody this... Uh, okay. Don't bring another guy. Yeah, I know. It will, though. No, oh. no. Lights flicker, then go out. Place darkness uh, in each space uh, in the warehouse and bedroom two. Where's the warehouse? Right here. Oh. Mm -hmm. And then bedroom two, I think, is only on yours because uh, we don't, I don't yeah, have a bedroom. You haven't even opened the bedroom. <laughs> Lights are going out. Okay. Why does he care about the bedroom, though? The mythos event affects the investigator in a space containing darkness. <laughs> That's why. Each investigator, each investigator. A low ground sounds from beneath your feet. Uh, Will for looking for a two pass. Nope. Nope. Yes. He got it. If you fail, you become convinced some abomination lurks in darkness nearby. Suffer one horror. Where's oh. the horror? Here's the horror. The? Uh, no additional effect. Flip the card face down. Okay, and then move one space away from the warehouse. <laughs> so it's trying to move you out of. Move one space away from the warehouse. I'm sure. Yeah, that sucks. Yeah, that probably should say one space away out of the warehouse. Well, it doesn't know where no, you are. It's just saying move one space oh, away. Yeah. But like, what is away? Like. So like, obviously, if you. I know. I have to start getting out of the. Yeah, room. yeah, it's, it's pushing you away from this. Yeah. Portal. Well, you guys can go first because I don't know if there's anything sure. for me to do let on me, my let side. Me roll whatever random thing. Okay, hey, Kyle's gonna go. Yes. No, you gotta click on the. Uh, yep. Yeah. Oh, it's always gonna be the same, likely. Observation. Four. Three. That might get That's you through. That's not it, man. I'm gonna lose my mind. <laughs> One, two, three. Confirm. That's probably enough. You push forward despite your disorientation and come out in a familiar entrance. Place your investigator figure in the same space as the interact token in the lobby. Done. You have another action if you want to go okay. somewhere, but I don't know if that's the end of the scenario or what we're supposed to be working I doubt towards. it is. So... Maybe it'll spawn some final boss fight in this room. We'll just oh show Get the blade to stab it in the eyeball. Yeah, okay. Um, Wait, one... Oh, yeah. Do you want right. to? You want to go next? Yeah, move me in, and then I'll do my roll testy thing. Let's see. Why can't I? I'm just like done. <laughs> All right. Okay. Good luck. Four dice. What is it? Still uh, observation. Yep. Yeah. Four. One. One. That stacks on top of my three, right? No, it won't. I don't think. Yeah. No, you got to get. It. Maybe oh, it's only man. even two. I don't know. It's not one, uh, and it is... Are we done? Is that everyone? Uh, no, me. Yeah, yeah. So I guess in this case, I will just move here, mm -hmm. and I'll just wait, because okay. I don't know. Light fades from around you, leaving anything even inches from your face obscure. Place darkness in each space in the warehouse. Done. It affects the investigator in space. Yes, it's okay. Some Stumbling on where you know... Stumbling to where you know there was a light, your hand can feel the heat coming from it, though your eyes cannot detect the slightest illumination. So for three face down horror. Yeah, this is fun. But oh, you get to uh, I get to negate with a five dice this time. One. So two. So two face, face down, down horror. Great. Great, great, great. Wow. Yeah. Okay. Is that it? Please just stay. Yeah, and then you go first, because if this well, only because I know we, this is so dumb. We I'm don't just going to sit here rolling dice. Uh, whoops, wrong thing again. Well, at least you have two chances this time. Go through the portal. Yep. Still the same, yeah. Observation still. Not observation plus 10. <laughs> I know it, it's this is like. Oh! oh. 
It works. Oh, maybe because it knows so I'm the last you. person, it's so, so it's like, yeah. it's like, okay, you've got the two successes. We know it's just you. Yeah, oh, that is true. All right. Place your figure in the same space. This is so. Okay, it's, it seems like. Oh, okay, she's coming here. Well, Lady no. Helena ducks through the portal. When she emerges on the other side, she quickly mutters more strange words, and the portal erupts into a multicolored wave that washes over the manor. Lady Helena claps you on the shoulder. That should get rid of anyone or anything nearby that's not part of our world. And I think this experience has given me some ideas on how to keep that thief from returning here anytime soon. We should be safe now. Thank you. Your investigation is complete. Oh, man. That's stressful at the end. With everyone returned safely and the portal gone, there is little left to do but rest. The danger has passed for now. Lady Helena seems fascinated by the strange magic of today's events and her interest in the arcane only grows. You like the art, though. Mm -hmm. She swears to keep her journal well guarded, but you wonder who will be its steward when Lady Helena passes. You have seen its potential, but also what happens when it falls into the wrong hands. There's the red journal. At least she turns over the statue to you for safekeeping. You swear to hide it so well that no one will ever find it again. Dun, dun, dun. Roll an observation check before clicking the end <laughs> button. We did it. Wow. Woo! All right. What was your card? So I was insane. Yeah, And I it know. says, no effect. You win or lose the game as normal. <laughs> Lame. <laughs> I was like, yes. Lame. Oh. The end? Shut Question mark? Up. <laughs> yeah, that's the end of our Mansion of Madness streams, I'll tell you that much. No. At the end of every one, I feel like never playing this game again, I say no. it every time. But I love when we start playing. I love the beginning of a scenario, but then at the end, it always feels like, uh, we don't have clues, roll dice, we fail. Don't have clues, roll dice, we fail. Yeah, but that's yeah. just how... Next time, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to get my damage early and just hold my clues. And yeah. hopefully it never makes me drop clues, or then I'll really lose it. That's true, but that's how this game is. I know, it's it's annoying. Yeah. But it's, it's meant just... to be annoying, because that's good with the theme. I know, I know. Yeah. It does what it's supposed to do, that's true. Exactly, exactly. But I just hate the luck fest, and like the negating it isn't that great. Exactly, but it's still fun. And it feels really good when you win this game, because it's hard. Uh, or maybe it doesn't for you, because you have to play it twice. If we won on the first try... Uh, yeah, yeah. Rigor, thank you so much for subscribing. Thank you. If, if we won on the first try... I would feel like, wow, we're boss. Yeah, Jim, that is why I said gain all the clues. I know, looking at all the tokens, yeah, all that stuff, gains all true. the clues, yes. But then there's that balance of, like, you gain too many clues, you take too long, and the game's, like, starts throwing more enemies at you and punishing you for not moving quick enough. Yeah. Uh, that's the hard balance. Yep. Yeah. Well, that's it. Thanks, Jim, for the tips. Thanks, everyone else, for the help and the tips. Uh, you guys, I appreciate you spending time with us live and, like, uh, just helping us out and playing along and stuff. Uh, that's huge appreciation. I, I don't say thank you enough for that, but you guys are fun. You make this hilarious playing along with you guys. Uh, it's just not as fun without the chat and the funny puns no, I agree. and all that stuff. I agree. You guys are awesome. Uh, and it's stressful, but you did it. Yeah. And it's supposed to be. I know it is. <sighs> I, I know it is supposed to be stressful, and you're not supposed to win this game that often. And I'm not the best at remembering clues and numbers and tips and what happened where and even what happened in the last playthrough or, or what happened on the last turn. I don't even remember. So it's like not the best game for me <laughs> and my goldfish memory. But uh, That's okay. Yeah. That's why I need help of at least two other players. But man, playing five would be interesting. I want to try it five player one time. But do you think that would be fun? It's be or so hard though. But just imagine just all what like you could guys. get because the, the mansion is only the same size. It's the same spaces, the yeah. same rooms, the same search tokens. Just imagine everyone could go grab. But there's probably just like more pop-ups. Yeah, there yeah, would be a couple more enemies, more enemies happen and stuff, and stuff like yeah. that. But yeah, for sure. Hmm. Turn what turn? <laughs> <laughs> and that one. So this one I didn't find changed much at all. It was 100 percent the same. It was pretty much same. exactly the same. Um, which that sucks for a DLC scenario. Maybe they thought, no one will really play this more than once. Yeah. In or let's just make some quick cash and whip up a quick scenario and throw it out there without putting the randomization to it. Yeah, because in the we other ones really, that we played... not too much, though, because like, it had to mirror that environment. Yeah, but so you, like, just yeah, could but you could still just change both of them. I thought like... it would just change, like, maybe the mansion goes this direction yeah. or that direction. Oh, a different big monster in the end. Yeah, that is true. Yeah, but maybe but that I was... But I think be... that was on purpose. I think yeah. because we went, we were faster than we yeah, were we in the Yeah, we got things scenario. done more efficiently. So it maybe, gave an easier boss. Maybe because we used the key to open the door and help the, the girl instead of the secret passage, 
it probably I think it gave us a different enemy maybe because of that. Yeah. It like it it's looked like it didn't say. punish us as hard because we actually were getting things done. Yeah. Um, but yeah. Definitely hard to say. Yeah, the shotgun was. Yeah, cheap. I definitely need the shotgun. Like yeah. putting that shotgun oh, in the floor man. the first time that was, was such the a bad move. dumbest. No, thing we I've have ever all done. the enemies on our side. <laughs> give us the shotgun. <laughs> But we knew this time to give the weapons to me and Kyle at the beginning. Yeah. yeah. Which was a good play. Yeah. I should have still took the heavy weapon, I think, from you, like the lead pipe. And I should use that heavy weapon because this firearm didn't seem like it was that great. And yeah. it, it, in the mansion, I never had the ranged attack of it. it. It's harder when it's not like outdoors or long hallways. True. And yeah, if I save. And maybe someone oh, that's yeah. played it. I don't know what happens if you save that lady. Well, no ghost comes and fights us and delays us on the other side. But you, yeah, but what does you she guys, do on that side? Yeah, just do like, I have to you fight her? And you away. probably fight like a weaker monster. It's like probably four or five damage. It's just one of her goons oh. right. that's holding a maid in, in captive while they're doing bad things. Right. So you go in, you kill the guy, she loves you, you and passes you a clue token or something. Who knows? Or right. an item. But then I'm delayed having to do that, and you guys are just waiting yeah. for me still. But imagine that turn, you wouldn't go need to do the lock. Box. That whole turn you went to get the lockbox, you didn't even need to go there yet. Yeah. Well, we didn't know. Well, we do know. We just forgot. Yeah. We knew there was two steps of you going into the lockbox. All that is is a silver key. You need to bring it back to the bedroom. If you ignore that whole little side quest, you would have just went in the bedroom, dealt with that. We would have done our thing. Oh, there, we revealed the guy because Kyle opened the safe and whatever. In the but we door. also didn't know if the code was going to be the right code. I, that's true too. But so I guess, there, yeah. You can see now the steps that need to be taken to do it most efficiently. Yeah. It needs to be all done in a perfect order where you do this first and every turn matters in this one where it's who goes first yeah like kyle should open that bedroom on that turn before you wasted your time in there when you could have just grabbed the idol quick and been out you could have been at the floorboards like fighting the guy a turn earlier or whatever yeah, yeah it's hard to say that's just neat it's neat to see when yeah. it's done like how it's weaved together and all the different ways to beat it and stuff um but yeah i don't know what to do next but uh we'll see we'll see we got more mansion madness i'm sure coming on the channel also, the Lord of the Rings version of this game has an expansion that's supposedly out in the U.S. now. Still pre-order in Canada. I don't know when it's coming here, but I would love to get that. The Shadowed Paths for Lord of the Rings Journeys of Middle-Earth. And if Kyle still comes weekly, it could be like a 10 playthrough scenario. You can't drop out ever, so if you're not here, we could play with your character. Or we just wait till you come again. But it would be like 10 to 12 weeks. Or even less. If we lose, it could be like 8. Based on past campaigns, it could be longer or shorter. You can even go as high as 14, I think somebody said is one of them. But mm -hmm. I don't know what the Shadow Path... There, I think there's two campaigns in there, but I could be wrong. Too Many Bones campaign? Mm. Kyle, have you ever played Too Many Bones? Yeah. Yes, he has. Yeah? Once, yeah, he yeah. tried it once. Played with Nugget. Mm. But yeah. Well, I played once off camera and once on Oh, okay. Did you? Was it camera? Or both off camera? I don't I know. I know you played I, off camera I played for twice. sure. I played oh. twice. For sure. I don't, I don't know. know. I don't know. Kyle's played too many bones, but only a couple times, it appears. I remember once we were teaching upstairs. And yeah, the once, game. yeah, that was just like a teaching thing. And then I played with, with Justin and you guys. Oh, oh we played four player? I don't know. Yes, I guess so. Wow, maybe we, we were did. trying like to Like I said, to goldfish do memory. I have no clue what happened yeah. yesterday. Too um, much going on. Yeah, there is too much going on. But uh, So yeah, that's going to be it for this stream. Thank you to our Patreon supporters for supporting the channel. Thanks to everyone who subscribes, hits that like button, shares the videos, all that kind of stuff. Uh, yeah, we'll be back for more Mansion of Madness at some point in the future. Uh, maybe next week. We'll see. Maybe it might be Lord of the Rings series of Middle Earth. We might start that instead in its place. Some of the new expansion stuff. If it arrives in Canada and get a hold of it or anything. Uh, we'll see. Um, uh, but we might play a different game. Who knows? I don't know. If Kyle really wants to keep playing Mansion of Madness and Mel really wants to keep playing it, maybe I'll keep playing it, but... <laughs> just kidding. And if uh, people like watching it. If, I know. If people, Obviously, you guys yeah, like watching it. We, we have a decent amount of viewers here every week, so it's all yeah. good. Uh, but yeah, I do want to show Kyle the Lord of the Rings game because I, I yeah, think it's I a better game. It, so. it's, yeah, it's very it's, fun. It's as similar well. to this, except for you just have like this overworld map, and then there's like little fighting scenarios that are more like these kind of scenarios and stuff, mm -hmm. uh, which is neat. I do love it. Yeah, he does. He does. All right, <laughs> I do love it. All right, thanks a lot for watching, everyone. Uh, have a good evening. I'll be back tomorrow with some one deck dungeon twelve again in the afternoon, continuing. A campaign playthrough. We're going to do another run against the Yeti, I think. Uh, and then we are back on Saturday, which I'll schedule shortly. Uh, Justin will be joining us at 12 noon on Saturday for the next episode of Gloomhaven, Jaws of the Line. And we should be playing the heist scenario, and maybe another scenario after that, or maybe twice the heist. I don't know if we fail. Who knows? But we'll be back on Saturday. Thanks a lot for watching. Enjoy the rest of your day. See you later. Bye-bye.